and everything? Oh yeah. No, I I didn't do I didn't do that. Oh, we're where's our little? We're intro? live right now. What? That's fine. You want there the logo right. and all that stuff? Yeah, whatever. Ah, I like that intro. Thank yeah, you. it's a nice intro. Um, yeah, Chris, Chris did a good job. I yeah. I actually edited it uh, and changed it so that the music kind of ends better at the end. Um, nice. But I forgot to put it in, so we don't have that right now. <laughs> all righty then. Um, we are we're live right now, so uh, on both Facebook and um, YouTube. Awesome. So anybody can Facebook, talk to us on YouTube. Chat? Hello, Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. yeah the, the problem with the Facebook chat is that if we look in our chat window here, it's not going to tell us who it is. So I'll look over at the YouTube itself. I mean, sorry, yeah. Facebook. Facebook. Itself. Okay. I gotta try one of these streaming uh, things one time. You, you guys are you're making it fun to do these things. They're intense. I mean, we're we're enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. We should sure. play uh, not drag not Dragon Vale. Dragon. What's your what's the game? <laughs> well, we could play Dwellings of Eldervale, which I helped develop, <laughs> or we could play one of the new ones that I'm working on. Like, I like Flight that Crow. Dragon. It almost is kind of like Dragonville, isn't it? Dragon Vale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a we had an interesting time trying to think of the name because you do kind of want Dragon in there, right? So it's like Dragon Maid or Dragon Town, or but you know that's too common sounding for the for a game. Yeah. Dragon Maid almost, almost, almost was it. Like M A D E or M A D E. But the problem is, there's the other word that's just so, like that's what you think of when you say maid. So it was like, nope, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. But we had like a little uh, branded, uh, oh, yeah. like a. Uh, an I, I, I didn't do. I didn't do that. Oh no. Oh, we're, oh, we're live right now. What? <laughs> Is that me? I'm not doing that. No, it's Chris. No, that was me. I, I'm trying yeah. to get it to where I can see the comments. I did that last time. So no, but yeah. we had like the little uh, brand and everything that was like Dragon Maid, and yeah. I was like, that would be a really cool like, um, you know, on a plush tag or something, Dragon Maid. Yeah, was, yeah. you know, that'd be neat. Um, but so are you? Are you saying there's going to be dragon plushes? We're looking at a dragon mm -hmm. plush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're we're probably gonna make a um, free to every backer, right? Uh, <laughs> we are gonna have some giveaways of the plush, I believe. Hmm. So, let's just have fun with to that. every backer, right? I like it. <laughs> I like it. Next month is that what we're doing with Vivid? Everyone who watches the stream gets a free copy of Vivid. Oh, that okay. That's that's. <laughs> Are, are you see, buying see it? The kind of, see the yeah, kind of heart attack you can give a publisher right there, Chris? It's not <laughs> even my game, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know. Yeah, I'm not a publisher. Like, yeah, sure. Free. Thank you. Are, you, you. You are a publisher, though. Well, yeah, I've published, but I'm not yes. currently publishing. So it's just dormant. I'm not a current publisher, but have published. Counts. Yeah. Uh, the Counts. entire purpose of this video for anyone who's watching, uh, we do have people watching. Cool. Um, nice oh, is cool. that we're going to play Vivid. Uh, we're waiting on Katya, who had some technical difficulty, diff uh, difficulties. Kind of like speaking. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like. Um, she was here, but so she's not late. She just. What is. Uh, oh, you got the Kickstarter. You want me to put this up on the? Yeah, we should talk. We should talk about the Kickstarter. What's going on? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You can put you know that. What? You want to go to it? Here, I can share it. Yeah, let's let's go over it. Let's look at it. It's pretty. It's okay. definitely pretty. It is pretty. I love the artwork in it. Yeah, Andrew Bosley did the art. Um, he's the illustrator for the game. It's just, it screams. It's so pretty. Yeah. And I just read the designer has uh, a lot of design credits to the yes. game, right? That's Who's amazing. The designer? I didn't catch that. Who's the uh, designer? Matthew Dunstan and Brett Gilbert. Uh, oh, Dunstan has 30, 30 wow. plus, 30 something games. 30 uh, games. Wow. Yeah. That's that's something. Yeah. Um, you ever play Elysium? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that game. That's, yeah. that's Brett Gilbert. He's one of the coaches. Really? That's. 
That's yeah, fantastic. It's, it's a great. It's in my top twenty. Good game. I, I don't really usually go for uh, mostly just card game, right? But right. I, I love how that plays. It never gets old. Mm -hmm. I ought to do a review of it. There you go. It's one of those games that kind of came out and with a whole bunch of other games, and then it kind of got lost. Yeah. <clears throat> that makes me happy about me backing it already, which I'm showing off here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at you. Yeah, didn't realize that. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, everything about it just uh, screams. Um, the boards, the, the, the inlay, the chips. Um, it's just it's amazing. Uh, Matt Paquette did the graphic design. Um, yeah. yeah, everything about it just sings, as I, we will all see. I watch Sarah's uh, one-minute things every time I see him on Kickstarters. I love it. Well, we know you don't have time to watch three-minute things. So. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> that is I one had, of the advantages of, of her format, is that you know what you're in for mm. right away. Okay. I had minute. the idea a couple of years ago to do the same thing, but of course I didn't pull it off, so. Well, if you scroll up a little bit. One of my favorites is the Game Boy Geek, Dan King. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Years ago, he started. Uh, I mean, his videos are engaging and they're 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 fun, and he talks about like right through the game. And then he started doing those Allegro reviews where it was like yeah, a yep. two minute, and then if you liked it, you're like, oh okay, I want to know a little bit more about it. And I thought that was brilliant. Well, I think that's why Rado has to split his up into like three or four videos, right? Because he could take talk for hours. <laughs> Yeah, but Rado, the best thing about Rado to me is his stream of consciousness. Like, I don't mind him. Well, wait, let's say we did this, or wait, let me go back and do this. It's yeah, yeah, that's what neat. he presents as he's showing you off, like what he's thinking and what he's doing really brings, like, because at some point he'll make a move and you'll be like, well, wait a minute, you can't do that. And then a couple seconds later, like, oh, wait, I can't do that. And that really, like, it's just actually to know the rules after a while. That's such a good point, and I actually had uh, I gave uh, our game Mission Catastrophe to someone, and not they didn't do anything wrong, but I pointed out that if they had showed how there were like four things they could have done right there, mm -hmm. it would have told me all of the teeth I needed to know that 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 it has depth. Like I was like, that's what I wanted right there was you to say like, or I could have done this or this, or I could have. I mean, right. just that that grabs you for sure. Yeah, it does. It does. Looking at you with no hair is weird. Can you just keep going? Just no, no, no. <laughs> no. I was going to zoom in if I could here. I like the mover of Meeple's title, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I like the soul patch person. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Can you find um, the May 4th promo while we're here? Yeah, yeah. It's up near the front top, right? It's so damn good looking. It's small, though. It's not really that big. It's like right here, right? Oh, look at yeah. that. It's small on the page. It it's bigger um, on the computer, but yeah. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I have a picture from you that I can grab. Yep. That's pretty neat. Yeah, so the you'll see in the game, um, there's, the tiles are double-sided. This is what, what was going on in that child's head when mm. they were imagining. Um, if you have the other picture, too, the other side of it is what was really going on. So what they were doing when they were imagining going uh, through whatever the memory was. Um, and in that situation, the, the, the child, yeah, just has a stick in his oh, cool. and is imagining what's going on. And when you flip the tile over, it's that rancor ish uh, with the, with the laser sword. Yeah, that's neat. It's a great, uh, that's a great theme idea. Yeah. It's fun too. So look, do you do you see only the one that's not? Do you see the one that you have to imagine first until you actually go to the tile? I don't so, know the rules yet. So sorry. yeah, you'll you'll see what was actually going on as you try to remember what you were thinking about what was going on. Um, but there's a little shadowed area on the right that lets you know what the the scoring is on the other side, so you don't have to like okay. oh, you know okay. what's coming kind of thing. Gotcha. There's Neat. no. Uh, uh, one slight complaint there's no um how to play step one graphic how to play step two graphic and that's always the first thing i really go for to look for yeah um i remember not seeing it before but i wanted to make sure and then the only thing that made me go okay yeah i like this is uh, uh your 
your explanation of it beforehand, but then also Sarah, uh, sure. her one minute thing. I do like the aspire. Like I like the really big words that you can kind of gravitate mm -hmm. on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I think it kind of explains how it works. If you look through, uh, it starts with aspire and that's your private, that's your private. That's like your step one, oh, okay. This video throws me off. I'm like how to play. This is what you get for that. And then the video is like at the end and, yeah, but scroll down. Yeah, so there's Aspire. That's what you're, you'll get. That's your secret objective. That's what you want it to be when you grew up. Then the remember is how you can take the tiles off um, off the tiles in the center, um, your little your little fragments. So you can take them in, in groups, I guess, of one, two, or three, depending. Um, mm -hmm. And then you place them into your board based on specific rules. The tile, if you're the one to empty out the tile, you can put it into your core memories um, or your memory slots and then score them um, if you can score them or if you use the action they flip over and then if you score them they go into your score pile which could add to your end game points based on your aspiration color cool yeah well, you, you'll teach us the game in a minute but yeah. bad you uh... oh that's better i just didn't see that these were actually part of the how to play yeah uh -oh. I just didn't because nice. they're all different colors, I guess. That's too so bad, you know, Mike uh, misspelled, you know, Aspire, though. This is the only thing. What? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> If it was, I, w I was throwing somebody else under the bus because I didn't put it together. So. <laughs> it wasn't me. No, everything, lost... everything should be. I think we lost Katia. I can't uh, get her on Discord yeah. either. I don't know. What's going on in Canada? They're in an internet ban. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. It's too bad. During, during, during hockey games, they shut off all other media. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love hockey, so. Same. Oh, you're, you're West Coast, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm from Chicago, so um, it's cold, and Blackhawks are my team. I, I, I have to admit, I've been in L.A. so long that the Kings are also my team. But, you know, uh, if it's the Kings versus the Blackhawks, I'm sorry, but the Kings got to go. Yeah. Well, uh, should we jump in there and see if she pops in before you finish teaching or – uh, we can. We played uh, a week or two ago. Uh, maybe it was last week. Maybe two weeks ago. Um, so she would know the rules. We just oh, okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and start the teaching. So you have to teach me and Peter. So that oh. way she can jump in in that in that time. Sure. She can jump into the game if you start it, right? Uh, I believe so. As long as, uh, yeah, as long as the link is working, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna start. You gotta, you gotta start it. Do the launch thing. Oh, and now I will share. Actually, do you want to share your screen while you teach so you can move it around? Um. Oh, here she is. Hey. Oh, see if we got our audio working and video. Hello. Hi. Is it working? Yeah, we hear you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Awesome. Uh, just in time, we were uh, we are hopping on to Tabletopia to play. Yeah, we'll see how that works now. <laughs> uh, Mike, did you already send her a link? Yeah, Kathy, you should have yeah. it in your Discord link. Or Discord. Yeah, I don't have Discord on this laptop. Put um, it in the chat for this uh, StreamYard. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Are you able to put it in there? I can. Uh, where is my... We have a private chat there. Yeah. If you click on the private chat on the right. Um, We've never used that before. No, we haven't. Private chat. We put all kinds of cool stuff in there. <laughs> all right. Use that. Oh, I can put the whole link, can I? Sorry. Hold on. I'm an idiot. That's on camera. I'm aware of that. <laughs> it's recorded. It's <laughs> There's the actual link. Okay. And Mike, did you want to share your screen so that we can see what you're looking at and pointing to while you teach? Um, that's 
normally i would say yes but w the way that my internet works i wouldn't want it to uh to okay well i'll do it then okay i'll try to keep up with you it'll keep me awake during your teaching you'll be good uh, i hope so anyway i'm not giving away secrets right uh, Vivid isn't open for uh, everybody, is it? Mm -mm. If they have premium or something like that? No, um, we've kept everything uh, uh, in-house um, and only certain people that have either play tested for us or demoed for us um, have the link and have access to be able to teach it. That way, mm -hmm. um, no one's really having a bad experience for not knowing how to play or anything like that. Makes sense. The only thing that's out there uh, that a fan made, and it's really good, um, is on Tabletop Simulator. Bosk is on there. Um, and during, I think, Gen Con uh, online, we were using that as our um, Bosk demos. Um, so that's available if you if you pay for TTS. Um, but yeah, Tabletopia, since it's free and you can run it through a browser, we've put everything up um, through that platform. And then we have certain people that can demo and teach it. Uh, what, what are we doing? Uh, oh, Katia, uh, can you jump into the vacant seat? I clicked on that, and I even like put in my name. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Hold on. I'll reload. Oh, here it is. Uh says you're in there, but you're not, you haven't taken a seat yet. At least that's what it says to me. It also, to me, it says that uh, Mr. Strain here is not ready. What? Whoa. Oh. Now I, was, I was waiting for Katya. Yeah, I'm definitely, like, clicking take a seat here. What is happening? <laughs> I think it detects that you're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> take the seat. I'm already sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, put me as a spectator. Wait. That happened to me, and then it then oh. it went into the seat. How do I do that? Can I remove myself as the spectator? I think if you just take the seat, then it'll remove you. Is that right? Yeah, you know? for me, it was just uh, it just was a, a delay in taking the seat. So I have open rooms. I definitely I'm clicking take the seat, but it's not doing it. It says I'm a spectator. How weird. Yeah. Let hmm. me get out and try it again. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. <laughs> That's all right. You know, it's funny. Tabletop Simulator seems to have lots of technical difficulties. And so I was thinking, oh, Tabletopia has got nothing, no problems, right? But it does seem to be like actually getting the game going sometimes is. Yeah, it, I, I've seen <sighs> issues with it. Uh... Ooh, join. There you go. Oh, there we go. Hey. The game I'm there. Canceled. What? Game start was canceled. I I canceled it because oh. there was ten seconds left before it started, and I didn't want anything to happen. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Peter, if you click ready, I think we'll be ready to go. My screen doesn't say that I didn't click ready. Well, you I'm ready. It says I'm yeah, ready. It must be ready. Now it's saying Peter is not ready. What? <laughs> yep. I've been ready. Table Tabletopia. What the heck? You, you have to be ready again because Mike canceled on us. Oh, there we go. Right, there right. it is. Woo! Woo, we're in. 20 minutes of <laughs> technical difficulties, but we got in there. Yeah, you can that's edit it. That's because I'm on here uh, every time. <laughs> that's fine. It's Friday. We're just chilling and playing games. Yes, it's Friday. That's why I'm drinking a wine. Oh, man. I need a drink. Salute. Cheers. I need to get some uh, <laughs> something. I should probably get the rules up just in case I have an issue, right? Uh, I broke my uh, I broke my archer's bow. Uh oh, didn't even realize. Um, feedback form. Look at this. Oh, uh, look. I have to go by memory. Huh. Art not final. How are you in and I'm not? Because I'm awesome. I, I mean, 
of the best internet. Cool. Apparently. I mean, I pay cool. for it. <laughs> I better. Oh, it looks so good. That's what I love about uh, uh, Peter Leaf. I, no. I <laughs> <laughs> what the? All right, I'm in. I'm in. Right, so no waiting on my end. How can you tell whose board is whose? I'll take you through it. You didn't color code it. Uh, if you look in the center on the bottom, there's a, there, each board is different. Um, but the best way to tell is the center bottom is a specific color, and you can just say that you're yellow or you're red or whatever. Still initializing. Hey, I'm in. Video chat, cancel. I don't care about that. I don't remember how to use this computer now. <laughs> Um, Some exciting TV right here. This is great. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, the first thing I want you all to do is over by the score track uh, on uh, the left of my screen. I don't know what, what side it's on on yours. Um, you'll see these circle discs over to the left of the score track. Um, they all represent different uh, sports. Balls, um, bocce ball, beach ball, soccer ball. If somebody just start claiming one of them as yours, that'll be your... Um, I'll take soccer since it's got yellow around it. Okay. I think that's a volleyball, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't know sports, too. <laughs> you won. <laughs> All right, I'm going basketball. What All am right, I doing with the second one? Just holding I'm, it? I'm, take, I'm taking your set. Yeah, Peter's got it. Take, your, take this one, Chris. What do I do with it? Take it over to whatever board you want. Whatever board is yours. I'm still not in the game. Perfect. <laughs> it's good. still, uh, oh, I don't boy. know. Initializing? Yeah. You, uh, uh, you've played before, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can at least start teaching while she's loading in there. It just let us know if you don't get in by the time we're ready to play, though. All right. Right. I'm taking a bocce ball. Okay, you do that. I'll take the beach ball if if you're able to do that for me. Yeah, absolutely. Beach ball is available. Beach balls are fun. Um, yeah, beach ball, bocce ball in the center. Oh, uh, you locked it so I can't make my ball bigger. <laughs> Don't want to see your bigger ball. <laughs> um, I knew you were going. <laughs> so who's? Um, I'm yellow over here. Yeah, where? Right here. Okay, there's your ball. Okay, so you and Peter are across from each other. Uh, Katia, I'm going to put stare you down. there. I'll take this one. So, hey, Katia, there I am. Or, oh, you're green. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, switch. That. You should switch those, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I gotta change the table. Tabletopia. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we're playing four player, which means. Uh, yeah, if you actually want this video for any reason, I could edit this whole like 30 yep. minutes out in the beginning. That would be great. <laughs> that would be, be great. <laughs> that would be absolutely great. I think I need to take all of these. I forget how to zoom on this thing. Put these all in here. Perfect. No. Yeah, I know. Playing, uh, playing between Tabletopia and then Tabletop Simulator has got me all messed up on how to move. Right? Around. How yeah. do I? How do I get closer to the board? Uh, scroll mouse. Yeah, I'm on the laptop. Uh, trackpad. Down. If you scroll up or down on the trackpad. No, Probably it just two, moves. Two fingers. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just bumped my forehead on that table. <laughs> I got so cold. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I just drew. Oh, There's my. a little bit of blood on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I cracked a tooth or something. <laughs> How do I I want someone okay. to do a video of what a playing games live would be like if we had these digital platform issues. Oh my gosh. 
where you had to like you know you're reaching over for one resource at a time or something. Yeah, um, that'd be funny. Yeah. Oh, are we getting these uh, these cards here secretly? Yeah. Should I, should I yep. stop sharing my screen real quick? Well, I'll explain. I'll explain it first, oh, okay. um, and then you can um, not share. So these are the aspiration tiles. Think of these as your uh, secret objective or your private goal. Um, mm -hmm. They represent a certain color, um, and it's what you wanted to be when you grew up. So you want to be a rock star, you want to be an astronaut or a nurse or a firefighter. Um, there's three bits of information in, in addition to the, the what you aspired to be. Um, on the left, I don't know. I, yeah. What is this one? Teacher? Oh, okay. Oh, the um, so one. on each tile on the bottom, there are three bits of information. The one on the left with the one above it. Uh, at the end of the game, you're going to score one point for every uh, token of that color that's in the interior of your brain board. So if you... Um, the interior you, of your brain board. Yeah, so the interior where those uh, hexes are. Ah. Yep. So let's say you were the teacher. Um, you would get one point for every red that's inside that part of the brain board. On the right side of the tile, you'll see the one with the two. You'll get two points for every token that's on the outer border of your brain board. So if you notice, there are... Um, yep, Every all, red token that's out there. Is what any red saying. token that's out there okay. will get you two points. Those are your core memories. I'll explain how they also trigger, but that's what that's for. Um, and then in the center on the bottom, you'll get five points for every one of the tiles that you've scored that has that color in it. So if you scroll a little bit up to the top... Um, like these? I, I, yeah, these. So you notice this this one that my hand's hovering over has purple, green, and yellow? Yep. Uh, when you flip it over, this is your score. This is how you score it. You need to have purple, yellow, and green in one hex, um, and this being face up, and then you, you score points. Once you score it, it goes into your score pile. So, oh, okay, you left us. Um, so for instance, for this tile, which I just screwed up, if you were either the doctor, uh, the astronaut, or the firefighter, you would score five points because they're looking for uh, purple, yellow, or green, uh, respectively, um, in your score pile. So you'd get five points if this, to if this tile were scored. Um, same thing for this. If you have this in your score pile, and let's say you were the nurse or the doctor, you would score 10 points because you have two tiles with purple in them. You get five points per tile. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So one point uh, if it's on the interior of your brain board, two points if it's on the uh, core memory outside, um, and then five points if you have one of these in your score pile that has the matching color. All right. Um, so let me put and, these together. And these are going to be secret? You won't know who's who? Uh, you could take a guess, right? Like once you see somebody really going heavy for yellow or going heavy for green, you might be like – you know, you wanted to be the firefighter, um, but it, you shouldn't know. I mean, you could guess, but there's no reason why you would know. It's a little weird that player colors are also these colors, isn't it? Um, I mean, in Table Topia, they they don't really give you a... Right, but these, those. these boards have yellow, green, blue, right, red, so, I don't know. I got yeah, booted out. Are you back no. in? I got Sorry. I got booted out. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Are you completely it says you're still in the game? Yeah, it sent me back to the lobby. Oh weird, because we have a little green dot here for you. Yeah. There uh, I am. You back okay. in? I'm back in. Oh perfect. Hey. All right. Um, yeah, I think the colors on the, like, it's not a player board, right? It's just, uh, this, this doesn't mean that, I mean, you could refer to it as you're the yellow player, but, um. Oh, is this just for Tabletopia? No, no, that's what the board looks like. This is. Oh, okay. But there's right. no correlation between the board you're playing and the color you are. Yeah, because there's no correlate, uh, like, these little balls don't, uh, go with your color or anything, so. Correct, correct. Did you just, uh, show off my secret card to everybody play i'm not looking oh yeah i wasn't i wasn't looking but if you want to 
Why don't, you, why don't you try that again and let me hide the uh, hide the thing real quick? Okay. Yeah, I, I, think I, don't, mine's, have this, I don't have. Your I think mine's up. hidden. I forget how to flip it down, or I don't know. Are you putting it, them all back now? Yeah, put them back because Chris is oh. complaining. <laughs> complaining. Um, ready to be a doctor. <laughs> in your hand, Katya, if you hit F before you bring it out of your hand, it would flip it over. Oh, okay. I forgot to do that. No, you're fine. All right. It's Chris's fault. Mm. All right. Is your screen okay? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Hit the screen. So now I'm going to deal one to each player. So I always forget that you guys don't have uh, the other screen. So weird. I got. I got. A, I, I got have the... a second screen here. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. I got it's the huge. seventh color this time, not the. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it's a brand new character. I love it. I'm going to put mine down on the board because... All I'm right, so mine. now I can share my screen again. And that way it's hidden, right? Should be. I'm going to get rid of this one. We don't need it anymore. Um, all right, so now that you know how endgame scoring is going to go with your aspiration card, if you want to zoom in on the player aid that's in between the two brain boards. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, that thing. I keep going back between Stream Duck and, and, and my tabletopia. Um, I got you. So, uh, the game's going to be played over three rounds. Um, the, begin the upper left of that is how you set it up. It's the number of players. How many um, are in the bag? How many tiles are going to be per round? How many tokens are on each tile? Um, I'll explain that all in a second. On your turn, you'll be able to do one of those three things. Um, you'll be able to take the tokens from the center off of a tile if three of them are different, if two of them are the same, or you just take one. And I'll explain that little asterisk about the rewire. Um, so don't worry about that yet. Um, so you can take tokens off the center tiles. Uh, in one of those three ways, I'm going to set these up. Uh, four players, six tokens, six tiles, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's going to be a little bit off. And then five each. Take five. Are you done? No. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to move them to the bottom. This I hate digital. I can't wait to start seeing everybody in person again. Right, because this action right here, which would yeah. be very simple. Uh, it's really <laughs> just it's, it's not. brutal. Why don't you start grabbing five? I'll order them out here for you. You're right. just punching them up underneath them, right? Yeah, you can put them on the, on the tile on the tiles themselves, but they kind of, you'll lose them. That's what you got to do with this digital thing is you got to work together. Perfect. Another shout out to Bosley's uh, art. My goodness. I know. It's so, it's is so, so vivid. It's I think the right word. Wow. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> oh, nice. So what you did there. Okay. Cool. So that's our setup, right? Six tiles, five yeah. on each tile. And then on your turn, whoever the first player is, we'll, we'll determine in a second. Oh, I'm going to put that right in the middle. <laughs> um, on your turn, you'll be able to take tile, uh, tokens off the tiles um, with a couple of restrictions. You have to work from the outside in. So currently in this setup, whoever first player is would only be able to take from this tile or from this tile. Hmm. You cannot take one from here and two from here, say, right? You got to take from from the same tile um, and you can take them in those three different ways. You can take three different colors. So, for instance, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, green, whatever. You'd be able to take two of the same. So two reds or over here, two greens. Or you can take one. Um, and again, I'll explain the rewire in a second. Um, but whenever you're getting what are you saying oh, rewire. Yeah, rewire. OK, that's, that's the benefit of taking one token. Oh, OK, I got you. Um, whenever you take tokens, whenever you're gaining tokens, um, you must put them into an empty hex on the interior of your brain board. Okay. Let's so say you wanted to take the red, yellow, blue, you'd take all three and you must put them into an empty hex on the interior of your brain. So this white part. 
Uh, I don't know what you're pointing at, but I'm going to, yes, the white part. <laughs> um, same thing goes if you take, like, let's say Chris was going and he took the two red, the two red would have to go into one of those hexes, the same hex, um, and that hex has to be empty. Uh, same thing if you only took one, you'd have to put it into one empty hex in on the interior of your brain board. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything you grab has to go into the same hex, and it has to be empty pre beforehand. For any time you gain anything, um, and I'll explain the abilities in a second, but if you look at these tiles in the center, you notice this blue one, this green one, and this purple one all have that one token with a plus sign underneath. Yep. When you take that action, it's going to give you one of that color, and since you're getting a token, it that also needs to be put into an empty hex into your brain board. The same empty hex or a different empty hex? Um, no, it has to be an empty an empty hex. The actions will come later. You're not getting when you're taking the three or two of a kind, you're not performing the action at the same time. That's a, that's a separate move. Gotcha. Um, but anytime you're gaining uh, any tokens, you must put them into an empty hex. Mm -hmm. um, each hex, as as I'm sure you've all figured out, can only hold three tokens. That's why there's those three like shadowed areas in each of the hexes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, so let's say Chris went, and I don't know if Chris is up there, but let's just say Chris went and took those two. And let's say Katia was next. Um, and Katia took the blue, the yellow, and the green, because you can take three different, off this same tile um, and put them into one of the things. If you are the player to clear a tile or more, because there's a possibility of clearing more, um, you get that tile. So it would go in front of you. You don't have to socket it yet, but it'll go in front of you for a future explanation, which I'll, I'll mention in, in a little bit. So if you're the person to take one off or empty one, empty a tile off of tokens, you get that token or tile. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I will continue to do tile and token back and forth. It's just going to happen. So, oops. <laughs> I'd also like to see this scene in person. Like, no, 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 I got it. I got it. I, it again. <laughs> I was trying um, to rotate it back around. You're fine. So, did, uh, so does that make sense? If you're the person to empty it, you get that tile. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Um, if, for instance. Uh, this is going to be all screwed up, but let's just say this was the board state or the tile state when it's Peter's turn. Yep. Um, since you can only take from the outer two, right, whichever ones are on the outer edge, um, Peter could pull two green from here, right, or one green, which I, I still haven't gone over the rewire yet. But Or if Peter wanted to take from here, from this side with the blue, Peter could take one and then two, three. So you gotcha. can... Dip in if there's no more. Still um, following the same rules of three different or two same or one. Correct. Different. Okay. Correct. So if Peter wanted to, let's say um, Peter was blue and really needed blue for some reason, which I'll go over scoring in a second, Peter could take this blue and then this blue off this one. Um, Peter would get this tile because Peter had emptied that tile. Um, but yes, you can dip in as long as it's on the same side. Um, if your tile is emptied, never mind. All right, does that make sense? Yeah, perfect. So let me put these back. Um, okay, and then I'll uh, I can go over the rewire. So the rewire, whenever you take one, so just one token. And you put it into, again, you got to put it into a hem an empty hex on your board. You have the opportunity to do the rewire action, which if you look underneath it, it explains both um, different options. You can either move into a certain hex, and it does not have to be the same hex that you put that one token into. You pick a hex, and you can either move from adjacent hexes into that hex or move from that hex into adjacent hexes. So you get to rewire your memories a little bit. Okay. Question? And you only get to do that when you take one, or you get to do that after you take pieces? Only when you get one tile, uh, one okay. token. One token. Okay. 
So uh, the reason you want to do that, um, and again, you can do either or. So it's anytime you take one one token, you can then pick a, a hex. It can be the same hex you put that one token into. So I don't know if you're looking at, yeah, my board. So let's say this was filled up with more color and I take the one red off the tile and I put it here. I get my rewire action. I can then choose the same hex and rewire and move to an adjacent hex or move any from anywhere else on my board. It doesn't have to be the same hex you place that one token into. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. The reason you want to do that is if you zoom, uh, yep, you're on my board. Um, if you look around the outer edge uh, of the interior brain and the, the core memories on the outside, you'll see there's these little slash marks of color. Yep. And the little slash marks of color uh, are also um, right next to them is another uh, location for these things to go into, right? That match color. It's letting you know that that hex is connected to that core memory on the outside through that side of the hex. So for instance, uh, this hex that I just put this red one into is connected to this exterior core memory through this hex, right? That's what that little red line means. The yellow is connected from here or here. The green is connected here or here. So if you have a color token in this hex, you are connected to this core memory on the outside of that hex through that line. Does that make even sense? If it, even if it's in this spot? Correct. Uh, okay. Orientation within the hex doesn't matter. As long as there's a color inside the hex, it's connected. Okay, cool. Um, the reason that matters is uh, part of the end of round will be scoring for what they call, or what the game calls threads. Um, your threads are connecting your core memories on the outside to each other. So for instance, this heart up here is connected to this hex, right, through that red line. You're trying to also get maybe a red here and a red here and a red here. So now you're connecting this core memory red to this core memory red. Mm. If you can also then maybe connect red here, red here, red here. Now you're connecting three exterior core memories through this thread of red magic, right? Um, and that comes into play for scoring. So the reason you're putting these things into your brain is to connect these core memories to try and remember um, adventures or, or things you wanted to be when you grew up or uh, fighting that that uh, space uh, wars monster, um, whatever the, the 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 memories are. But you're trying to you're trying to connect these hexes by color. Again, like Chris was saying, it doesn't matter which part of the hex it's in, as long as the hexes are connected. So uh, it wouldn't matter if this red were up here, and then this red is down here these would still be connected by red. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move to the end around uh, and the things we'll be doing because that'll kind of tie everything together. So after you take, after the, the center row is done of tiles um, and all the tokens are gone, um, we will be moving to the end of round um, and doing these things in order. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is any of those tiles that you've accumulated from the round you will put into um, the core memory slots on the top of your brain board. Um, there are four of them. Um, it's important to know that once they are socketed, they will not move until they are scored. Um, and remember, they each have two sides. They have the action side, and then they have the score side. So for instance, and I think you're on the same board. I'm gonna go back to this, um, your board, I think. Yellow board. Okay. Sure. Um, so let's say you acquired this one throughout the round and now you have a place to put it or you're deciding if you want to put it, you don't, you're never forced to do it. You can always be like, look, I don't, I don't want to do this one. And it just gets discarded. Um, this specific tile is going to give you a blue. That's what this icon on the left means, right? You're just going to get a blue. So you go to the general supply, which is in front of the score track. You'll take a blue and since you're getting a new token, you must put it into your board, into an empty hex, as all other times you get tokens, right? If you perform that action, then you get to flip it over. And that's the only time you get to flip it over is if you perform that action. By doing that, you've now given yourself the opportunity to score that tile. And the only way this tile is going to leave is if you score it. So first, you must take the action in order to flip it. 
and then you must score it in order to put it into your score pile. I might have missed when we take the action. I know that we're drafting the um, crystals at first, but then when are we taking the action? So that's round one, uh, okay. step one of the end of round. Okay. So, so any- once all the crystals are gone and all the tiles have been taken, yep. then we do the end of round, and that's when we activate these actions? Yeah, it'll be step one. The first thing you're going to do is take any of the tiles that you've actually acquired and decide whether or not you want to socket them into these four slots or not. Um, the four slots also have actions. Um, the one all the way to the left is you swap two for one. Um, same hex. So any two in a hex for one of another color. Um, the next one over is you just pull randomly from the bag one. So you don't know what you're getting. You just get a random one. And again, since you're getting one, you must put it into an empty hex. Uh, the next one over is kind of like a mini rewire. Uh, you get to take a tile or take a token and move it. Anywhere? Uh, adjacent. Oh, okay. So you pick one and move it. Uh, that'll help you connect maybe a little bit uh, longer of a thread, um, which I'll explain when we get to score threads. Um, and then the next one is swap two. Uh, pick one from one hex, pick one from another hex, and swap them. Again, do they have to be adjacent? Those do not. Oh, okay. Um, so those are your four main ones. And then in addition, you'll have, um, and really the center tiles right now kind of give you a, a good idea of the actions that are there. You'll be able to gain a single token. Uh, you'll be able to swap one for two. Um, typically, I, all of them have the little shaded area on the right that lets you know what the score side of it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know what's coming when you flip it over or what's what you could potentially acquire from the center. Um, so if I'm if I'm looking for blue, but I don't have any purple, I might not want this tile because I need blue and purple to score. Um, and if I decide to socket this and I'm not really getting any purple, then this is going to sit here for a minute, right? Kind of. The, the circle there with the bar, like beside that blue and purple, does it mean that it, that third slot has to be empty or does it mean that it can be any color? Uh, this one? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it has to be empty. It has to be blue. In this situation, it has to be blue, purple only. Okay. Just like uh, for this one, it has to be blue, green, red. The orientation of the colors don't matter, but in that hex, it has to be only those three colors. Okay. Okay. And that'll score each time it's triggered. So let's say Chris was just rocking out the blue and purples, and he had four hexes with just blue and purple then this would score four times for him. And that's the points for right there. So it'd be 16 points. Right, it'd be 16 points. Same thing for these with the three. If you had hexes all over your board that had that combination, three times, four times, you'd get that many points. So in other words, if he had a blue-purple, but only one of them, he might choose not to activate it because he might have a couple blue-purple in a few minutes. And then once he does choose when to do it, that's when it goes away. So you're only getting one shot to go, I'll take it now. I got four blue purples. Correct. So that that's a timing thing. You got to make sure you don't trigger this action because once it's flipped, you'll automatically score that if it's in your if it's in your board. So if you think you're going to be playing to that strategy where you're going to want to do like more blue purple, you might not want to take that action right away. You want you might want to save it. Although it's taking up a slot, you might want to save it so when you do take that blue and it flips, now you're triggering that four times rather than once. Because step two of it is you score your moment tiles. That's when this will score. So if this is happening on your board, it'll automatically score. You'll get your points, and this will go into your score pile. So you, right. can't, you can't sit here with it waiting for that to happen. It'll automatically score as part two of end of round. Oh, okay. So I can't just I can't just hold on to this for until like the third round and then activate it. Nope. Uh, before we do step one of end around, you'll decide whether or not these are going to get socketed or not. If not, it's just going to be discarded. Uh, if it is socketed, it'll take up one of these four main actions, uh, whichever one you think is least useful for you for the time being. And then it'll be your choice as um, step one of end around to activate, right? You perform the tile uh, or memory bank abilities. That's your action. So 
if I decide to do this one, I'll take a blue from the supply, place it in one of my empty hexes, and that'll automatically flip. And then step two, it'll be scored. When do you do the actions that are under it on the socket? So uh, the way that I look at it, well, let me just guess here for a second. It seems to me that when you're taking an action, if you had no tiles, you would have four choices of which action to take. You would choose one of the the ones, any one of the four. You you perform all four. Oh, you, you do. You order perform you. all four. Okay. Um, and they're optional. You don't have to do them, but you'd be okay. able to perform. So right now, Chris, if this is still Chris's board, I think you'd be able to perform four actions. One is just take a blue. One is take a rando. One is swap, and one mm. is take two for one. So you get all four actions in in whatever order you want, um, or not. Maybe you don't want to do it. And so that allows you to not uh, fire off the bike rider until you're ready. Correct. Like if you really had a plan, not that this is really working for you, but if this was the plan, you could wait on these actions. You don't have to perform the actions, but the only way to get rid of them because they are taking up some spots is to perform the action. So they trigger and then score, which is step two. Like that's automatic. You don't get to wait on them. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Sure. So as long, so if you took the action, but it doesn't score because you just don't have that combination on your board. It stays there. Correct. Correct. Yes. So once that's it, it, it kind of, it's important to know what, what, what's coming up, right? What tiles yeah. you want, uh, which ones you don't want, how, how you, how you can stick somebody with a tub. Cause you always have the choice of not taking the tile. You can always be like, it's not, I don't want it. And it just goes away. So you're never stuck with a tile, mm -hmm. but when it's here, like right now, let's say Chris took this blue and it fit into some master plan he's got going on and it flips. It'll sit here until Chris can figure out a way to get a blue purple by itself as many times as he possibly can. Otherwise, it's going to sit there from round one to round two and then maybe score at the end of round two. Or if blue purple doesn't work at the end of round two, when we get to step two of score moment tiles, it'll stick around till round three, taking up that slot. And once it's socketed, you can't, like, let's say it was the end of round two and Chris got this one, but really wants these three actions that are open. Chris can't be like, you know what? I'm abandoning this and I'm going to put this here. Once it's socketed, it's socketed until it's scored and put into your score pile. Right. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Pretty sure this is the order. Um. All right, so uh, step one is socket any of the tiles that you want or discard them, um, and then perform the actions in any order you want. Uh, step two is to score them. So once these are flipped, uh, you saw the hex with the two colors or three colors, you'll score them, you'll get your points. Um, the tiles will then go into your score pile, which hopefully is leading into your aspiration, which will be scored at the end of round three, where you get the one point, the two point, or the five point. Um, then you go on and score your threads. And this is without me messing up the entire board um, and just taking another, uh, you know, minute and a half to, to reset. Um, to score the threads, remember I was talking about like the exterior red to the exterior red and how they're connected by hexes? Yep. Mm -hmm. You will count wherever those are. And again, it's automatic. It's not a, I'm going to wait. Um, if you have any threads that are connected, you will score the number of hexes that connect those threads times the number of thre uh, core memories that are connected. So in the example I said before, where you had um, this red up top here, and it was one, two, three, four to this red down here in the lower right, yep. that would be four hexes times two core memories. That would get you eight points. If you happen to, at the end of your turn, also connect to this red down here, You'd have one, two, three, four. Let's say you came off this one here. Five, six, seven. You know, it's kind of convoluted to think of. Times three. Times three, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so trying to get them to trigger, um, obviously, with more core memories gets you more points, right? Yeah, but let's say, you're right. It's going to take forever to... We get it. <laughs> right. Well, there's one more step in that, though. Oh, okay. So let's say you only scored these two, right? You had one, two, three, four hexes uh, times these two core memories because they're not they're not um, connected yet. 
Um, you'll score your score your eight points, and then the exterior of the thread, so the two that are touching these little red lines, right, that are close to the core memory, they'll go into these slots. So they'll come off your board, they'll go into there. Everything else stays. Only the ones that are connected will go into these little core memory slots. So you got to keep feeding those every round to score them again. Uh, no, they'll uh, score no. once once it happens. No, but I mean, those... score these... go ahead. Yeah, but you see those points that are like beside those slots. So you're yeah. aiming to fill that to get those points. Right. So that's step four, the score core memories. If at any point at, the, at, at by by step four, if these are completely full, so let's say this top one here also had a yellow and a green in here because you had connected yellow and green at some point, at step four of end around, you'll gain these points. So this is a big one. If you can get this to pull off, you'll get 18 points each round of the three rounds that that is full by this step. Wow. So you got the one over here on the upper right. You got the one over here on the upper left. You've also got the one down here in the center. So that'll only take one. Once you connect it, you'll get the one point during step four for each round that you have that completed. Um, if on the same turn around, sorry, Chris also connected these yellows and there was a yellow one down here, then during step four, Chris would score these four points because this core memory is full. That make sense? Um, if you were to connect, remember the, the other, the other hexes that have red in it stay. only the exterior ones go into the core. If you happen to connect to another red that hasn't been scored yet, um, you're still multiplying your number of hexes in that thread by the number of core memories that haven't been scored yet. And uh -oh. we lost Peter. Peter's had enough. He's done. <laughs> Oh, he's still here. Uh, he's still I am here. still here, and I don't know why Tabletopia said bye, but I'm back. Right. Says you're back. Super fun. Um, so, for instance, oh, that. if if this were the board state, and Chris somehow connected one of these already connected reds to this red down here, somehow, it would be the number of hexes that are connected times one, because Ooh. these are already used. Gotcha. It's actually interesting. You want to do it, but you want to do it uh, <laughs> when it counts. Yep. Right time. Yep. But you also want to do it early because if you can, like I said, if you can get that red yellow together and maybe even get this yellow green together somehow, you'll be getting 18 points at the end of round one, round two, and round three. So it's a big mm -hmm. score. Um, and then after point four, the last thing is the really? aspiration will only do that at the end of the third round. Peter just doesn't want to play anymore. <laughs> I, want like, oh. I want in. I like this. Before we went, I, I don't know, Kathy, if you were on, but before we went live, uh, Peter did say he was going to crush Chris. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> like right interesting. out of the gate, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to beat you. So. I... Did you. Did you admit that last time I crushed you? Ooh. Oh yeah, it wasn't even close, right? It was it was pretty bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> I blame that on teaching. It's not I wasn't sure. playing, I was teaching. Mm. Right. I also backed up and said I don't win games, so just to be clear. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think we heard that. I don't we just heard pure domination, I think is what oh, all right, all right, all right. I'll try. <laughs> um so uh at the end of round one, uh this will all be gone. We'll refresh uh, six more tiles, five tokens on each. Do it again. And then at the end of round three, we'll score our aspiration uh, tokens. And then uh, I'm sure Peter will win. Huh. I did. I just said beat Chris. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was going to say. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's going to win. That's right. And that puts me at least. Whatever, whatever memories Chris wants to have, I'll say, nope, those were my memories. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Um, I flew a dragon kite. I've totally forgotten what color I am. You are. I actually. I had a <laughs> private actually, card. We but... all match our color. Our our tabletopia color. No, 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 no. I mean my secret card. Oh, perfect. I remember oh, I my forget. secret oh. card, but I'm no longer holding it. So. Yeah, just... I forget mine too. Hold on. How I'll, do I do I'll that? Just, I'll just stop uh, sharing. Is this here, Chris? 
my screen. No, this is quick. a discarded one, Peter. Okay. Well, it I, your I wonder, it's not. Oh, unless the hand has a hidden feature. Hold up. Hit H. Yeah, I am, but it's not. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. I remember now. Me too. He's not doing it, but I remember what the color is, so I won't worry about it. All right. Uh, whoever's here, uh, you're first player. Oh, I guess that's me. Here you go. Uh, giving him advantage against me already. He's going to need it, Chris. He's going to need it. <laughs> this might be a disadvantage. I don't know. Um, oh, of course, I paid attention to the demo board, and I look at my board and go, oh, I don't have a red in that same spot. Oh, okay. Oh, are yeah. they different? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. They're slightly different. So we will we will adapt. Hmm. Oh, only took an hour to get started. That's yeah, not right, bad. <laughs> um, all right, I'm thinking about grabbing three. You would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab these three. And I just have to put them in a blank. You put them in an empty hex. They all go in the same empty hex, right? Correct. There you go. There you go. I forget, um, Michael, you said when, if we, for example, somebody wanted three um, tokens there from that card that only has two left, can you grab the third one from the other end? Yes. Yeah, yep. okay, you that's can, what I thought. You can okay. always dip in. The only thing you wouldn't be able to do in this point is, like, take two reds because there's still a token on that tile. Right. But okay. if you wanted to go for three, yeah, you can take the, the oh. blue, the red, and then the yellow, and you're fine. Okay. So you can't. But you could take. Two. But you could take a green from the other side. No. No, okay. you can't loop around. Oh, you can't. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to. Okay. Yep. Damn. Wait. So you, you said you dip in, but you can't. You can't. You can't loop. Okay. Yeah. So I can't. I was gonna say reach. Uh, right, I can't right. take like this blue and blue if it was my turn. Correct. Is, you wouldn't be able to do that. So this kind of ties this up to where you can only take one from here, right? You could take one, you can take three, or you can go to the other side. Why can't you take three? Because you can take the red, blue, and then yellow. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And you could also take from the other side. So you'd be able to take yeah. two green. You can take one green. Right. Kind of limited on that side, though. Yeah. Um, how do you want to play? On my screen, I have uh, our player icons, but the board, if you want to oh. go clockwise, would be... Yeah, either. just go around on the board. That At least for me, the board seems... Yeah. Okay, so Katya, you're up. Oh, okay. Um, Can we not move these around? It's too bad. What are you trying to move? I was trying to see if I could move the nameplates around. Okay. I'm going to take three. Mm -hmm. Trying to see here. I can't see my whole board. Hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, Holly said hi. Okay. Okay. I think Hello. I'm gonna put them away here. Oh. Sorry, I have to do a lot of like dragging back and forth. You're fine. And it keeps trying to grab the camera. I'm trying to grab this blue token. There we go. And then I will take the yellow one too. I'm just gonna sort this mess <laughs> when it's. <laughs> <laughs> and so you get brain is all jumbled at the moment. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> That's what it looked like last time too. Nothing would slot properly, but it's okay. It's all good. I'm gonna take uh okay. two green from this side. Does she get the biker guy? Oh I do. Yep. Good call. Uh, does she decide right now to slot it in or not? No, it'll no. be uh, when we get to the end of round, and then you decide either you want to slot it into one of these or you can just discard it. Okay. Um, I took my two green. I put them here. So, Chris, you're up. So you left me that crap, huh? It's not crap. I mean... It's total crap. <laughs> not great. That's for sure. Um, yeah, let me zoom in here. 
so I can make a. How do decision. how do we tilt on the view? Like right now, I'm like my view is super tilted, where I can see Peter's setup across from me. Like, how do I go more top down? Kind of like um, Michael's view. You had a right mouse button at your disposal. Yeah, uh, yeah. It depends on what your trackpad is. Is it? I don't know. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I could hit my face on the table. That's all. Like I don't, I don't know how to tilt things. Yeah, mine. Uh, this one is two fingers and then up or down. No, oh. that's gonna zoom me in. But I click yeah. in. Actually, uh, I'm gonna put these back. Yeah, these you cheating board. already? Yeah, it's not working. What's happening? Okay. Chris, oh, yeah, Chris, you couldn't even do that. What? Because it's still, you can't dip into the next tile unless this tile is empty. I thought you said that. Oh, it has to be empty. Yep. Well, see, you're not watching me. I'm sitting here cheating. You're not letting me. Uh, you're letting me get away with stuff. I would have caught you. We're drinking. I don't know. <laughs> I should be drinking. <laughs> this is true. I don't know if you would have caught me. All right, I'm gonna take these two green then. Uh, Say it out loud, so I'm not cheating. Very nice. Let's. All right, Peter, you're up. Okay. Peter. Whoa, I can take one. I can, it can be mine. It could be yours. I want to do that. But well, let's see where I'm going to, if I'm going to go one, I could go one or two or three, right? Well, now I got Guns and Roses. You could be mine stuck in my head. <laughs> I could go one, two, or three. Yeah, uh, you, you you could get two purple. You can get three different, or just considering take that three people are going to go after me. Um, I'm just not sure what what that'll, that'll open me up to too much. Holly says she likes the updated Brain Player board, including the memory bank. Yeah, Matt did a great job putting them together. I think I'm going three, and. We'll take a green. Does the first player marker move per round? End of the round, yep. For the fourth player, right, game, means I'll never get to be first player. I get hosed. True. <laughs> is right. it my turn? It is. Okay. Uh, Peter gets this. Yeah, I was going to say something. Oh, yep. thanks. Will you put that over there? Right back. I am going to... I'm going to take the two blues. And, hmm. Hmm. Nope. There we go. All right. Mike, it looks like you're getting a tile. Um,. I think I have to, yeah. Why would you not want to? Because you can choose not to take it, right? Um, no, I would. I would choose not to take the red, right? Okay. Why? I have a plan. <laughs> he thinks he does. Oh, it's not a good plan. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Um. What is it? So space bar zooms, just so you know. That's it. Like, uh, it brings it up to oh, I, screen so you can see what it is. I thought you meant like zoom. No, no, no. I'm just going to take this green. What? Yeah, so I'm going to uh, place the green here. Um, by taking one, I get to do the rewire. So my rewire, I can pick any hex, even the one that I just did, and either move from adjacent into it or move from it into adjacent. Um, so I'm going to pick this hex, and I'm going to move this green out here. Hmm. Let's see what you're up to. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's right. okay. I said it was a plan. I didn't say it's it was early. A plan. It's a plan. Uh, 
It doesn't matter where these things go. So yeah, I'm good. Uh, Chris, you're up. Yeah, yeah, I should have been taking one tile. That's too greedy. Taking three. It's hard to really as long as you can manipulate them. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. We'll work on that. It helps to really study your board here. I'm now finding out. Um, because I don't want any of this stuff. <laughs> huh. Well, remember, if you stick yourself with a tile, you don't you're not forced to use it. You can just discard it. Right. All right, I'm gonna take one, two, uh, and I could either take blue or red. So on the tile that I grabbed, by the way, which says mm -hmm. a purple into a green yellow. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I would take any purple on my board, and it would go away. And then the green yellow, when they come in, could go anywhere. No, you're replacing that purple with a green yellow. Okay. So in the case of this purple going away, I can't replace it with a green yellow. You'd be able to replace it with a green or a yellow. So I would fill until it fills, and then that's all I could do. Okay. Yeah, you'd only be able to to take one of them. All right, that helps. Uh, Ideally, you want something like this, right? That you can then change that into yes. a green yellow. I'm now realizing that the purple by itself is maybe, or purple mixed in with those is bad. So I'm gonna fix that. Back to me, Chris. Is that what you said? Yep. How do you uh, uh, rotate? Q and E. Oops, not like that. Which is also a, a game by BoardGameTables.com. I don't know if you've played it, but QE is fantastic. Huh. Um, all right. Really? So I think I'm going to take... So if I... T if, uh, okay, I only get to rewire if I take one. Correct. Yeah, I'll take one and do this whole rewire thing. Um. Boy, it's it's uh, boy, it's it's wrapping your brain around what you're how you're gonna pull the thing off, and it's only round one. I know. I wanted to do too many things already, so I was. I guess I was gonna take a. I was, I was gonna take a red, and it's interesting how if you take a red from a certain side, you might inspire a three grab versus not versus leaving it right. Yep. I'm going to take one from here. And if I put it here. So now your rewire ability, you can pick any hex in your, in your brain. doesn't have to be the one you picked. Okay. Um, and then either go adjacent from it or pull into from adjacent into it. So I can go like that. Yep. Up to its limit. So you can move one. You can move if you wanted to pop the red off to your right and the purple down to the left, whatever you want to do, you pick a hex and then you can move up to everything in it adjacent. So I can either pick this hex that I just put in or whatever, pick a hex and move everything into it or pick a hex and move everything out of it and they can go different directions. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So that particular you don't have to move everything from it. If you wanted to pick that red, green, purple hex, yeah, you can just move the red down and leave it. Or you can move the red down, the purple over, and leave it. It's up to you what you do with. All right, I'm going to move the. I'm going to move the green down. I'm going to move the purple out. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know about the red. The red is. Uh... You know what? Maybe I'll leave the. Nope. I'm going to leave the red there. Okay. I'll do that. I don't know what I'm doing. So just uh, just a point. Chris, you can't take the purple. Um, also, Peter, your two red that are at the top of your board, uh -huh. you only need one of them there to connect to that red core memory. Oh, okay, good. So that the two, okay. So then that's I, just letting you know that either of the hexes is connected. You don't need to have a red in either to connect. So moving that red down to your right would be, yeah. So then I could leave the purple, actually. Because you want to connect the purple up there anyway. I do. So I'll, I'll do that instead. <laughs> Okay. Katya, you're up. Yeah, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, I, so the, um, like our goal cards that we have that are hidden. The aspirations? Yeah. Yep. Um, what's the scoring on that again? So let's say you're the blue player. Yeah. You'll get one point for every blue 
token that's on the interior of your brain. So right now that would be worth three. Yep. You'll get two points for every blue token that's on your core memory slots, which is the outer ring. So this okay. would be worth two points. And then any one of your scored moment tiles that has that matching color on it would get you five points. Okay. Thanks. But it would have to be scored, right? So you got to yep. socket it in here, and then you got to flip it and score yes. it and move it to your score pile. I'm going to take the one blue here. You would. I think someone's a blue player, guys. I don't know. What? <laughs> and I'm going to... Get that out of there. I'm going to move that one here, right? I can do that? You can, absolutely. So just to clarify, so you see where my hand is there? Okay. I do. Um, so this blue here is technically connected to this thing here, right? Correct, because you got the blue okay. line that's here and the blue line that's here. So either one of these hexes is connected to this blue core memory. Okay. Ooh, those lines are hard to see in Tabletopia. I know that's why I was trying to get more of a top down view because it's yeah, it's kinda hard, but it's okay. I got it. I'm still gonna beat Michael. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, such aggression. <laughs> All right, Mike, take your red, purple, green. Man. You're uh, calling me out as being the blue player and look at your board, it's all green. I like know. <laughs> you know he's green. I can right? neither confirm nor deny that I'm the green player. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I dare um, you not to take your red, purple, green, then. I am definitely taking red, purple, uh -huh. green. I was hoping you'd get locked out of that. It's still going to take your green. Nope. <laughs> red, purple, green. This is mine. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how you left me that, but oh, I guess you go after me. That's good. Yeah, I, I can't do anything about that. I can only mess up Peter. So. Perfect. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I guess Chris, the speaking, the person is. speaking of Chris, you're up. So yeah, how are you gonna mess with Peter? Yeah, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm, not. I'm just gonna try to play my best game. That's all. Um, what else? Chris and I have not precisely telegraphed our colors at all. Yeah, <laughs> I have no um, idea what Peter wants. So. Well, we know neither of you are blue or green. But I'm for sure. So I'm going to say know. Peter's red. That's an assumption you're making, by the way. You're totally oh, assuming. Before, <laughs> totally. I, I get it. Before <laughs> before we reveal our aspirations, I will ask each of you what you think the other players are. I think it, it's something I do with Sagrada as well. We always try and guess what secret color everybody is. So we'll do and it. Are we doing... That's at the end, right? It's not after each round. It's just at the end. Correct. At Aspirations end. are only after rounds. Okay, so I got more time to correctly give my board. <laughs> yeah. So there's no... Um... How are you cheating, Chris? Oh, okay. I see. Well, I'm, I'm not cheating. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the two yellow, even though it allows other people to... Um, but... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to get another turn, am I? You no, might. It depends on if we need to rewire, right? Mm. I don't think I'm going to get another turn. I think Peter needs to rewire. And it's not. Ew. I didn't realize that, like, you know, especially because you're it's on the tile that I picked, I'd be spending one and then it would go away. Yeah. But I've got these other actions, which are kind of neat that I have to keep in mind. I'm doing all of the other three actions, whatever they are. Correct. Oh, that's so much. Uh, I know. There's so much going on here. This is pull randomly, so you don't know what that is. Correct. This is move one to an adjacent one. This is swap any two. Any two. Like, I can't keep all the possibilities in my head to plan ahead. Turn any two into one is what this is. Mm -hmm. Any two in the same hex, I assume? Correct. Hmm. Jeez. All right. And if I get this, this is going to take the place of something. Right. Wow. 
Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Vivian. That's the best part of this game. It's like the planning. I, I love it. I do get the move one. I I get to move one into an empty hex. Is that what this is? It doesn't have to be empty. You just get to move one to an adjacent hex. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh, all right. All right. Well, then I will take the yellow. Okay. All right. All right, Peter, you're up. All right. I'm so tempted to... What am I doing here? What am I doing? <laughs> I have. Well, it depends on if you want to rewire or not, right? I do. I want to rewire, but I also. I mean, here's my here's my. I'll tell you what my initial thought was. You know, look at these eighteen points. I'm like, could I could I possibly get this thing wired in 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 round one? And I'm now looking at round one, going, no, there's nope. no way I could get the thing wired. So. Are there a different amount of tiles going out for players? Yeah, it's all on that um, player aid. Okay. Especially because yeah, Chris took the yellow. I think that might have been – Messed you up without even trying. Full. No, but I, getting, like, the purple all the way over is also right. tough. I really want to tell you what to do, but I'm not I'm – not I know. Do. I know. So not I'm looking allowed at, to do that. The two possibilities that I'm looking at are taking the two purples because I want to work on the purple uh, thread. And the other thing I was thinking is, but I could also take the two reds and get a card. So I'm trying to evaluate this card, which gets me a yellow. And this card. Just look at how that card works, right? Right. It It's going to turn a purple into these other things. Right, and then how does it score? What do you need for it to score? It scores with um, exactly that combo in there. Green. Right, right. You know, so like if you change purple. this hey. purple. <laughs> hey, I need what? this help That's... right now. I need this help. The <laughs> audience needs this, this help purple too. purple into a green yellow, you'd still be short of this score, right? Right. So you need another purple. But say they were in the same hex. And then you took that action and you changed a purple into a green yellow. Well, now you'd have right. purple green yellow in the same hex, wouldn't you? Right. And I'd score once. Is that is that good to score it, only one time? I would. see this as them teaming up against me at this point. Now. No. <laughs> I was going to take the two purples anyway. Yeah, no, I'm just messing with um, you. Michael, you suck. <laughs> what? Because she I wanted the purple. purple. <laughs> oh, I wasn't doing it. Would, it's, would, no, it's, it's one of the things that took me a minute to to wrap my head around is knowing how that worked. Right, having two of the same in a, in a hex and having the matching tile is really powerful because you can perform that action and score at the same round. I let me tell you, there's no way you would have had the purple. Um, the purple anyway, but I wasn't sure how to use the purple. I'm now a little bit a little bit clear. I, I guess I'm just putting them over here. Uh, I'm following the same example because I don't see a way to. What I was trying to do is. Wait, yeah, but about... also remember that before we score, you're gonna get to use those actions that are on the board. So you're gonna be able to either swap yeah, things. Yeah, I'm gonna things. put them over. So there's also that. So if you don't have to take the purple, don't take the purple. <laughs> I have to take the purple, but I'm trying to figure out now the yellow that will be left. I could maybe use to get. See, now I'm looking at the yellow green going like, okay, this, the, the, the hex or the square that turns into yellow green, how do I get that pathway to go? Um, I guess we're going here. I, I don't know. There's two, like Chris said, there's just too many mm -hmm. uh, ways this could go. So I'm doing that. I'm sticking yeah. with it. All right. So now it's up to Katia to take two red. And both these tiles. Yeah, but they're or not one. really helpful. You could take one and rewire, right? Yeah, I could. Two. Yeah, but then you're letting him rewire. Which I don't really need to do. Yeah, you already got your connection there. Yep. I don't know. Hmm. 
Fine, so, I'll take them both. <laughs> I, I gotta ask this question, which is, if I manage to get the red top to go to the red bottom, which is just a one point, right? Uh, right. This. Right. Um, if I if I if I had this here at the end, yeah. right? Yeah. And I connect these, and it's just one point. But I later get the yellow and purple in there. Do I do I not get the eighteen anymore because I took a third of it up? No, no. You'll only get the eighteen once these three are full. Okay. All right. I just finished you the round. Did okay. you really take them both? All right, well done. Screw you all. <laughs> you, no, so many good. you stopped me from getting some. So um, many tiles. All right, so now each of you need to figure out of the tiles, uh, the moment tiles that you got this round, do you want to socket them or do you want to discard them? And if you want to socket them, which ability do you want to uh, cover? 100% know where, where I'm putting it. Okay. On the convert two into one, though, is it in the same place that you're converting the two? It is this. Yes, it's the same hex. Okay, then yeah, definitely cover that up. Yep. I'm gonna cover that up. Another blue, another blue. Oh, you know what? I'm not covering that up. I'm gonna cover that up. All right. All right, Chris, what are you doing? All right. And Katya, are these two just getting discarded? Yeah, probably. Hang on. Okay. okay. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I thought you you were done. That's why I needed purple. I really wanted the little guy on the bike. Um. Uh oh. Sorry about that guy on the Man. bike. Man. Peter screwing everything up. I know. It's okay. Yeah, discard them. I don't I don't know where you discard pilots. Uh we'll put them over by the aspiration ones. All right. Um All right, so the first thing you're going to do is take your actions. Um you have four actions to choose from. You can do them in any order. So, for instance, Peter, well, we can look at Peter since he's the first player. Um, Peter okay. could draw randomly from the bag and then maybe move something and then swap yeah. two and then do the purple. Or... I'm drawing out of the bag first. Do okay. I need to shuffle it or just grab? No, you should just grab it. Okay. And then that has to go into an empty hex. Okay. I, where am I doing with that one? Well, I don't think I'm needing it for anything right now. Okay. So this one's done. Now you have the other three to choose from. Yes. I would like to move the, hmm, I think the red one. All right. Uh, and again, you don't have to do these, but. Um, all right, all right. I don't think I have a point for the swap, but let me. The red's doing something. There's no way the greens could get anywhere. The purple's going to turn into, well, actually, could the green get anywhere? No, not really. Um, and this has to be one into another one, so. You're just literally swapping two tokens. Yeah, I'm not going to take that action, and I'm going to take the final action to convert this purple yeah, one to a green yellow. Yep. And then you took that action, so flip that tile over. And then pause there. Um, Katia, Chris, uh, you could do yours in any order, whatever you want to do. All right. I'll guess oh. my memory is that. Are we going in order? Or are we going at the same the time? <laughs> uh, we can do it individually if you want this round. So we can look at Katia's board. What do you want to do right. first of your four actions? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll start with that random draw. Okay. From the back, I can't I can't see the bag. Where is it? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ta -da. there's a bag. How do I? How do I grab just one? Oh, there you go. There you go. There's your purple. Oh, of course it's purple. Now I ditched the card. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, God. She had to decide that before doing all these, huh? 
Correct. No, First thing we do I, is, I don't is even want it there. I just, I'm just gonna put that away. Okay. Um, All right. That's done. Okay. Let's do the action it. from the card here, where I grab, I, I give a red here for a blue and a green. Okay. And they go in the hex where the red came from, right? Correct. Is what we were saying. Yeah, are these limited? Oh my God. Why are they not? There we go. They're not limited, Chris. If if they were to run out, we just pull from the bag. Cool. Okay. Whoops. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. So I use this. So I guess that gets flipped. Correct. And then I'm going to swap. I don't know. You don't have to. Remember, these are optional. Yeah, I know, but I feel like I should. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you should move that green one out of there. You don't need that there. No. <laughs> oh, but let me. Why don't I just. It doesn't matter. No, really. Oh, I hate wasting actions. <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh, wasting so it. Bad. You played so well, you don't need it. Yeah. Wow, yeah there you go. Your green is set up to be kind of in the middle of your, your if you want to go for your three green core memories. Right. Your yellow set up here. I, I, I don't think you have to take them. Okay, fine. You can I if you want to. No, I don't have anything to do. All right. All right. That's my turn. All right. Um, right. I'm going to draw blind. Ooh, nice. Exactly what I needed to have happen. Oh, magic. I'm going to put that here. So that was this. I'm going to take my green. I'm going to put it... green? Huh? Taking green, what? I'm taking this green. Mm-hmm. I... Are you questioning or are you being sarcastic? <laughs> sarcastic. Oh, okay, good. So I drew blind from the bag. I put it here. I took my green. I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to do this ability and move this green over here. And then my swap two, I'm not going to take. Uh, Chris, you're right. All right. So it's okay if I backtrack this a little bit while I think it out because I was watching all of you. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. And all again, right. I mean, uh, you know, non-Tabletopia pandemic crap. Uh, this is all done simultaneous. Like, we'd all already have this done on our turn. Right. So right. it's kind so of it's a little slog when we're all doing it together. The card's going to give me that purple, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's say, <clears throat> let's see. Um, if I move this here with that action, mm -hmm. that's going to give me that. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then I'll put this purple here, and then I'll use the swap to swap these two out. That's pretty good. And then I'll flip this because I took the purple. Took the purple. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I used everything. So you know... Oh, no, I, didn't, I didn't change two things into one thing. You move this yellow from here to here, Right. Right. The yellow here is still connected, just so you know. Right, but then I can't score this. Oh, because yep. of the red purple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I didn't see now, that. I can change these two into one thing, right? It's in the same hex, two for one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see any reason to do that. Okay. I'm good. Okay. So step two is you score your moment tile. So any moment tile that you uh, have uh, on its score side. Uh, okay. How many times do you have that on your board? Uh, we'll start with Peter. Yep, I have one sixer. What are you, the basketball? Yep, basketball. All right, so six. Yep. Okay. And then this goes into your score pile, wherever you want to keep your score pile. Okay. Um, Katia also has oh. six. Yeah, I have six from the... Oh, hold on. Yeah, the card's six. And I have six from the threads, too. Are you scoring all of it at once? No, oh, just doing the moment tiles for now. Okay, so, so yeah, six. Okay, and then that put that into your score pile. 
Um, I get four for mine. And I get four for mine. And you get four which, for yours. Which is the, what did you call this, a volleyball? Uh, I think so. Definitely right. not a soccer ball. <laughs> All right. could, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> now we'll score our threads. Um, it's pretty uh, simple. Uh, if you want to look at mine first, I can score mine so you can see how it works. Um, any connected core memory, which are the outer ring, um, you count up the number of hexes that connected, and outliers count. So uh, it doesn't have to be a direct chain. If I happen to have, let's say this was green and it was here, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, right? It doesn't matter. It's not like the most direct route. It can be, it can be off chains too. I'll put this back before I forget. So it's the number of hexes in the chain. So one, two, three, four, five times the number of core memories it's connecting. So for this one, I have two core memories that are not used yet. Um, so this would be 10 points for me. I take my little bocce ball. I go up 10 points. Also, Chris, you got to move your kite, your dragon off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you scored that. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then in addition to the thread scoring, the exterior parts of the thread, so the, the, the two that are touching the core memories, go there and go there to cover them up. Now, if you're able to put greens back in those spots, do you score the thread again? Um, you will. Uh, like, let's say I had a green here, and then I put a green here later on. Since this one's already used, it doesn't count towards your multiplier. But since this one isn't, then I would count that times the number of hexes that are connected. Gotcha. Okay. You still have to have another core memory connected, um, right. but you wouldn't count that the ones that are already completed as your multiplier. All right. Um, all right, so that's mine, and obviously I don't have any others. Um, so that's that. Chris? Yeah, I got the yellow right here. You do? So add that up. That's uh, six. Right, three times two, right? Yep. Okay. And Did then you move? move into here. One, two, three, four. I haven't touched the scoreboard, so. Got it. Ten. And then your exterior yellow is going to your slots. Very good. Peter? Mm -hmm. I had a three times two, and I moved the red into the slots, and I moved myself on the scoreboard and took the six points. Perfect. And I, have, yeah. I have ten. Nice. Whoa. Baseball. So this comes here, right? In this slot? Correct. And then oh. that goes out, too. I totally forgot that this connects to that. I was like, yeah. That's that line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, those are the threads. And then you score your core memories. So can somebody move me up ten in the, on the scoreboard? I did not do that. Gotcha already. Thanks. Yep. Um, your core memory slots, uh, the exterior of your brain board, any one that's full. So for instance, on Chris's board, he's got one point for the yellow. Peter does too. Peter's got one point for the red. Uh Kathy and I have nothing. So okay. one for that and one for Peter. I got, yeah, I got mine. Okay. Um, that's step four. And then we go to uh, round two. So at the end of round one, I am losing. You are. <laughs> Looks like Kati is winning. She is. Who's so the best far, At the end of round one, my prophecy and Katya's prophecy are both true. All <laughs> right. <laughs> it's the, it doesn't mean anything because yeah, it doesn't mean anything. I'm Who's a, the basketball? I am. Why can't I? I can't move this thing. I can't grab one of these. Grab what? What are you trying to grab? Like that? Yeah, I can't grab it. That is weird. Like I'm hovering over it, and I'm it's showing oh, my hand. I know which one that oh. one. I just moved the whole thing. I know which one that one is. What in the hell is going on? Well, yeah, that's the go. special one. That's the me fourth one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't take one off the top, though. Weird. Try uh, try rolling your wheel over it and then going back to one and then to drive it. No. 
It doesn't like you. It really doesn't. I don't like you either. You better watch that. <laughs> you need help? That's yeah, uh, we need two, two more of these tiles. If you can put uh, two more here. Somebody? Anybody? Yep. So weird. the end. Oh. oh, we're grabbing five here. Yeah. Yeah, five each. Five. How do you grab five out of the bag instead of Use one your one? wheel. Use your wheel. Uh... So who's going to be starting this round? You. Is it me? I thought I wasn't yeah. going to get it. Oh, Are what's you sure? Going? Yeah, the first player marker moved to you. Yeah, it's oh. me who doesn't get to go first. Ah. Well, that's weird. And Mike is going. Uh, quick, change his could, board. That could be a problem. Change I think he's board. hosting the game. <laughs> Here, I'm going to take that off. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> I took off his little green uh, core memory thing. Oh, nice. He can probably still hear you, though. Oh, right. <laughs> Hold on. Let me remove him. <laughs> no, oh, he's no. Actually, he's gone altogether. We lost him. Gone. He's the wow. one hosting this room, too, isn't he? Yeah. How's that going to work? I better put this back before I forget. I don't know. Yeah. I work. wonder how that's going to work if he's hosting the room. Oh. There he is. There he You're is. Back. You're back, Mike? I hate technology. Oh, me too. Uh, we're at the end of round two. You want to score your stuff? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Already, huh? That was quick. Goes uh, my Tabertopia, I'm going to... I got to reload. It's not working. All right. Well, I guess Katya could go while you're doing that, right? Because you can't interfere. No, no. Right. We could all break our brains again while we think this through. Right. Does it all make sense, though? I mean, at the end of round yeah. one, you figure out uh, getting the yeah. tiles, making your tokens, how the threads are scoring, right? How your tiles uh, are scoring. At the end of round one, I have realized why I'm losing. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes you want to play again. I'm feeling all vibrate from eating gummy nerds. Gummy, gummy nerds? Yeah, they're basically gummies with nerds stuck to them. Huh. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> They're really good. Yeah. I remember those nerd ropes. Those nerd ropes were really good. Yeah, it's basically that cut up. Oh, man. Um, Tough choices. Now that we know somewhat more of what... Mm hmm. I don't like... I don't like that three hex I got here. I'm back. I'm purple red. Oh man. Um. Sorry, I'm like taking a long time here. No, that's fine. I, I'm give me more time to look and try to decide what I want to do. Like the first thing is like, do any of these score something I already have? <laughs> Which is no, but... <laughs> All right, I'm going to take three. Feels like we had that Sandcastle memory last round. Are there yeah, duplicates? There should be two of each, I think. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Are there two May the 4th ones? Pretty sure there's only one. You know what? I didn't even look at my memory that got flipped, and I was excited. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. it's cool. Yeah, a dragon. It's yeah. not just a dragon kite. It is a dragon. Yep. Yeah. All right, You're I took lucky. three. It's that was messy. too greedy. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> I like the little mist down at the bottom of it. Oh, mine! Mine yeah. is like fishing a whale. Oh, that's actually sad. <laughs> <laughs> Catch and release. Catch and release. Yeah. Apparently, I apparently am ruler of the entire kingdom. So I mean, I, I like my looking at Katya's. When that well lands, I know what's happening to that boy. 
<laughs> yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. You're not pulling that well in. He's pulling you in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how sad that the is. The next memory she takes has to be an underwater memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What am I going to do? Um, Peter's memory. Uh, oh, you have a cat. Uh, Peter's memory. Oh, it reminds me that this is Andrew Bosley art because uh, that that face of the queen or king, um, it, it looks just like the one on the front of a uh, tapestry, right? Hmm. Looks very similar. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Um, I have a question. The You're the one teaching. Well, I, I remember I, I, I took a hiatus there for a minute while the internet wanted to mess with me. Oh. Um, the third tile, the third tile in, um, this tile here, yeah, has a purple over a yellow, and there's actually six here. Does anyone else see that, or is that just me? No, uh, that's just a, you. Yeah, that's it's just you. There's just it's three fine. yellow and two purple. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What that happened there? Happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love the fact that we were sure that yep. he was seeing something completely wrong and that it was just there. Was yeah. Like, the weird, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that pop. Well, I don't know if I was the one that populated that or not, but I know that I rolled over and got a five. We can check the tape at some point. No, it's fine. I, I saw true. a purple over a yellow. You moved the yellow and then the purple was hovering. And as soon as I clicked it, it fell to the table. Hmm. That's, That's weird. That's so crazy. Because we didn't yeah. see it until you made it fall, make it fall to the table. Or at least I didn't. Okay, well, since it's not my turn, I'm taking a bathroom break. Because I think this is going to take a while. So. It might. <laughs> it definitely might. I. How long does the game go in uh, real life? Uh, it shouldn't take more than 40 minutes. Hour, maybe. First, first teach. First learn. Four players, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do the purple. Nope. <laughs> Immediately don't like that decision. No, I think I am going to do the purple. So there's double art in here. Is it also the same scoring? It is, isn't it? Blue, green, red. Yeah. Should be. Because she has the well, and that's the same scoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she scored well. In, well, no, because she already... Yeah, she would want that because she knows she already has that. Right, unless you're rewiring and breaking that up to score like reds this time or greens this time, then maybe that's not ideal for you, right? Yeah. Did you already take? I did. I took two purple and put them here. Oh, so it's my turn. And now, now that we get the stare at the other side, it's funny the whale on the cloud. It's me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the art's amazing. He did such a phenomenal job. Um. So if I take... Yeah, I can take nope. the... What? Huh? No. 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 Do not take that tile. No, not that tile. This one right here. Mm. Uh, and I can what take that one or a red. Um, I'm oh, going I'm to that. take a green. All right. Let's see. Where is this going to go? Uh. Hmm. Mm, no, let's put it in there. All right. Go ahead, Peter. I I just saw so many uses for that dial. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to make do with this one on this side. Oh, gonna... yeah. Look at that. You already had it. Jeez. What? You, you had it twice. I know. Before. I was like, I saw the tile and I thought, is there any way? There that wasn't a hate draft. I didn't even. And when Katya board. took three, <laughs> I just knew that I wasn't going to make it. You know what I mean? It yeah. Was, it was like that wasn't a hate draft. I didn't even look at your board, but liar. Um. No, no, I'm happy yeah. it happened. I just didn't. I get. I just can't claim to. Have, uh, I'm going to take all three of these and the tile just so that I can have something. It wasn't the tile I want, but I will make it. I'll make make do the tile you deserve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're gonna go. Hmm. I need I need for the yellow to be doing its thing. So the yellow needs showing to... people your board. The yellow needs to head this way, and then that means by 
virtue of that, everything's going to be over there. Okay. Chris, you should be able to uh, right click or whatever magic you need to do for your computer and set the cameras from one uh, zero to nine That's right over idea. our board. So when it's like player one turn, you can hit one and player two or Katia goes yeah, and it's two. And I, do I, do? I right click and then hit one. Uh, set your camera up first, like move the table like over Peter's board. So it's where you want it to be. I'm there. And then right click and do camera. You'll right. see camera view over to the right. Oh, okay. And then you should be able to to set it to from Whoops. zero to nine, so you can just use those as like hotkeys or something. I don't know how to set it though. Like you hit the you hit the button. Yeah. So if I right click and see the camera, I see a zero. Right, right. So that'll be your. That's the first thing you can do is set up like camera zero, and then if you move to Katia's board, you can do. You should be able to do one. Yeah. You keep saying set up. But when I click on the zero, I zoom out and see everything. Right, because you haven't set it yet. How do I set it? Move, move the camera around so it's. <laughs> I'm there. Look, look at the screen. You can see what I'm doing. I keep forgetting. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. What do I do? What do I press? Move over to the zero. Okay. Let go. Okay. Oh, I didn't do anything. What do you mean by let go? I'm not holding anything down. Click it. Nope. See what I mean? It's not working. Um, what in the hell? Oh, That's set camera that. view. Set camera view. It's the lower right. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the it camera goes on. View, you, gotcha. can, you can do that to get to the camera view or oh. hit the numbers. It's set camera view. So shift and a number, and then shift and, and then just hit the number to go to that camera. Very nice. Whose turn is it? Yours. Um, I think it's yours. I think Peter oh. did something. Okay, I sorry. Did. Yeah. Uh, and then we started messing with the cameras. Right. <laughs> yes, I was just noting that it wasn't the one I wanted, but I did take one. That's right. Chris stole the one you wanted. It was Chris and Katya together. They worked. They were in cahoots. Teamwork. What? I would never do that. Yeah, the greedy three pull, and then I, 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 I would totally do it had I thought to do it, but I get, I just fell into it. I'm going to. Figure out what the hell I'm doing here? Uh, yeah, but it's my turn, so. I know, but I still need to figure out what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. <laughs> Chris, look, I could have made another one. Well, that's that's what I took. I'm grabbing two greens. Out. You would. What you can you can take the other two greens right here. I can. I don't know if I want to. Well, then don't complain. You have options. I do have options. Oh man, I don't like anything that's going on. <laughs> that's got to get purple up there. All right. So if I do red, yellow, Ugh, I don't even have a yellow on my board. Wow. I know you've been leaving that it for me. a certain emotion that you're repressing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever yeah. yellow represents. The swirly emotion. Back. That swirly emotion that he. What is green? This is 100%. After the successful Kickstarter and it's gangbusters, then it, then it needs to be a Pixar Inside Out edition, I'm sure. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because it's got that vibe yeah. of. Uh, yeah, the artwork makes you want to do that, yeah. Chris, is your picture there with a Trollbill hat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, guess you're out. I will say that is, I, I, out of all the things I saved from the Breaking Games office when I left, I took the Trouble Sat with pride. I was like, I'm taking this Trouble Sat. I still have it. That's, uh, that's a pretty good picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's an awesome hat. I guess I'll have to put something in mind. I'm just a guest right now. That's so boring. Yeah, I'm a guest as well. Yeah, but yours looks like it belongs to a game at least. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> going to say, but yours looks like you. Oh, that would have been so good. With short hair, maybe. <laughs> like pre-COVID. No. no. Well, he was trying to get an insult on me. No. It looks I like wasn't. I just thought that's where it was going. 
Now, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take this one. She could have taken that joke, but that's not her alignment. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but my avatar actually kind of looks like me pre-COVID. Seriously. Like, shorter hair. With the short yeah. hair, yeah. My COVID period hair length has, has really gone. Uh, I, I went uh, quite a while before I went in and cut it, finally. I missed the window when we had stuff open yeah. here. Yeah. There was a yeah, I know what you mean because it was like in LA there was a window and I was like, "Oh, let's get it later." And then the window was yep. shut. <laughs> yeah. And then we've been well, they just extended our lockdown like uh, our forced stay at home. And so we're basically still on stay at home lockdown f until June 2nd. Hey Mike, I took hey, one. I took one. So that yeah. allows me to move one to somewhere else. Does it have to be an empty spot or can it be like here? No, nope. so by taking one, it, it allows you to do the rewire. Your rewire isn't just taking one. You can move anything from that hex outward. Anything from what hex? Whatever hex you pick. So if you want to pick that one with the two green, yeah. you can move both those greens if you want as to ad adjacent yeah. to the same one. But yeah, you can move that one down if you want. I did not know that. I'm actually going to do that then. There you go. Cool. Ooh, yes, yeah. you're kind right. of like exploding out from the one hex, whereas the other way would be kind of imploding oh, into the hex. With that in mind, I'm going to put this here. Then I can do this, right? Correct. Okay, cool. All right. What am I taking? What am I taking? What are you taking? I think three. I think. These saved uh, camera moves are so much better. Yeah, I'm, now I'm watching Stream Duck instead of my own thing. This is fun. Stream yard. <laughs> stream <Whatever>. duck. Stream <laughs> duck. It's stream duck. It's it'll their, always be. Their stream logo's duck. a duck, so it's hard not to. Yeah. Well, right. you know what's the next right. thing I gotta do now is I gotta make that stream duck logo <laughs> in meeples. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna do, do the full I'm gonna take a green, a yellow, and a purple, and we're gonna put them down here. Man, you're Chris. still setting up like you want my card. I, Chris, that <laughs> card was going to be amazing. Uh, it makes me nervous. Like, does he have something that allows him to take my card? Because you're still doing it. <laughs> uh, I missed that card already. Well, he told you there's double, so now we all have to go for that card so you don't get it with this set. Hell, the Sandcastle's already come up in round one. This is literally oh, the right. okay. Castle. Yeah. My memory now is of the sandcastle I never built. <laughs> so is it my turn? Yeah, sorry. Sweet. Yeah, Peter's memory is now Chris coming through and stomping on the sandcastle. That's correct. Yeah. I want like another tile deck where it's like I can search for the shattered version. <laughs> but my memory is me just making a nice little sandcastle. So mm. that's fine. I wanted to rewire, but I it's an interest it's really interesting in this game how you want to do that actually, but you also want you know as many colors as you get your hands on. Oh sure. And I'm trying to grab a purple. It's my third one. There you go. And I get the May fourth card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Good luck with it. Well, I already have it right here. Huh? Well now I have it. Nice. Hey, give me give me back my card. <laughs> and then it's upside down, damn it. Oh, that's the take that is really strong in this case. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Q and E. How do I flip this? Q. Stop turning my <laughs> Q and E. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but now I yeah, okay. So I played. Oh, why is it doing both? I don't remember what game I was playing. Maybe if Ian sees this or is watching, but I played with Ian Moss uh, on digital one day. Um, what were we playing? Oh, Vault Wars. We were playing Vault Wars, and all Ian did the entire game was go around to people's components and just lock them. So we just <laughs> to, like move a tile or move a card, it would be locked, and it would just be Ian giggling about, about what he. Him and John mm -hmm. would do the same thing. Oh wow! So funny. That's very funny. Where are we now? Is Mike's turn? Because, you know, these things can happen in sort of, uh, you know, programming and whatnot. So so after it happened a couple of times, you'd be like, something's really wrong with these tiles. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, Peter, your idea of making a video of what happens 
you know, playing these. It reminds me of the Viva La Dirt League. I don't know if you've seen their videos. And sure. they're a group of guys and they make videos of like people who play RPGs on like on the PS3 or whatever, PS4. And mm -hmm. like your NPC characters, like all the stupid things that happen in RPG games. So they basically make skits of what that would look like in real life. It's hilarious. And it just, sure. I can totally picture something like that done about like tabletop simulator or tabletopia yeah. and like how that would look like in real life on the table like trying to grab your components and it's, like it's my yeah. Turn? yeah it's your turn okay yep. um i'm gonna take there's like because we had one game where i couldn't see the other side of the card but everyone else could see it and oh, so gosh. you could just shoot it where the person's like no i can't see it. it's like completely obvious and everyone's like no it's right there it's like no it's not working and then you glitch and then they disappear from the scene mm. yeah like well, we lost we lost peter whoops and then you know it would be very funny because um it seems to happen every one of these games every yeah. every there's a hitch every time your turn peter all right uh mm. well i One can't yellow or two card. can't take this card but i can take two yellow or i can take one yellow and consider Mike, did you lock my uh, my memory here? No. Uh huh. Could uh, I get to another yellow? That'd be neat if I could pull that off. I think two yellow is the way to go. I mean, well, if I if I really want to rewire though. I'm going to be able to move one adjacent, and I'm going to be able to. Oh, man. You're Who's locked that? up. That left, I'm um, looking at, at the main screen, the left um, side of your board where that yellow could be connected, you're locked up with the blue, purple, green. But if you took two yellow and put them in the hex to the right and then use your swap, to move a yellow with like the blue or the yellow because the blue doesn't need to be there or the purple doesn't need to be there and you might be able to connect oh you need to yeah you might well it would be connected to the bottom it would be one two three four five six it'd be six points but well i'm not sure i follow you completely the yellow is currently connected so i you, you must be talking about something else right well yeah um so the left yellow on your core, on your brain, on the left, there's the yellow green for four points. Yeah, uh, the yellow green. Oh, that's far away for me. Unless but... Chris is not on your board, is that your board? What? Oh no, that's my board. Sorry. Oh, yep. forget it, Chris. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I was like, I'm that's not Peter sure what you're talking about. All right, so yeah, ignore everything I said. Okay, great. Look at your done. own done and movie. done. I've ignored it all. <laughs> I know, I was trying to think out my uh, my whole turn here. I'm gonna fire the cameraman. We should. Is it my turn now? No, sorry. I'm thinking about whether or not to take two or one. If I take two, it's pretty good for the conversion te technology or whatever we're, whatever those four actions are called. I can mm -hmm. convert it into whatever. So taking two yellow is like saying, okay, I have a color somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, taking one though allows me to kind of do some key move that would help um well, you're not green because we know my green so you must be yellow <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i am things are not going well in the color categories um <laughs> you need to get that green in the upper left of your board i do need to get a green here mm-hmm so like putting sure. something there and then using your swap with that green would help? Um, I do need to get a green there. You're correct. Otherwise, I don't score the green. Yeah. I am scoring the yellow, which mm -hmm. is great, but scoring the green would be also great. So, yeah, why don't I just take two and forget the re reorg and just get this done? Because this will allow the conversion to take place. All right. Okay. It's on you. But that gives Katya both the rewire and the card, which, you know, 
been wanting yep. to do. But. And, it, and it locks uh, Mike out again, so that's a win. I mean, so I, in my rewire, I will move yeah. this one here. Now you got your green connected. Good. That's the plan. Good one. All right, All right. So we're scoring. End of round two. Nope. So now we yeah, stopped any, our any files oh, we got during the round. You're going to uh, decide to slot into one of those spots and then oh. take your four actions in any order you want. Uh, All right. Flipping them over if you take the tile and then scoring. Are we doing this uh, one by one again or just all together? Up to you. We can go one by one or we can whatever you want. Well, first decide of your tiles which ones you want to slot and which ones, mm. if any, you want to get rid of. Yeah, why don't we all just do it at the same time, but we'll score one by one. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah, sure. Whatever you need to cheat, that's fine. <laughs> I realize I have yeah, those big problems. Mm. Damn it. <laughs> it's going to break my chain. This stupid card is going to break my chain. Don't do it then. But it was going to score 12 points. <laughs> then do it. But I don't want to. <laughs> I need to swap those two. Oh my god. I don't want to waste it. Mm -hmm. There. I need to... Okay, I can do the swap. All right, great. I can do the swap. If I do, but I don't need the move, so I'm going to put this guy here. All right, great. So these two tiles are out, and they're coming into a green. Oh, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, the whole trade two for one. So it's two from one hex, and then the new one you pick it has to go in that hex. Correct. The two, uh, wherever you pulled the two from, the one is going into that hex. Oh, come on. I can't do it green. you got to be kidding me. Well, that could be. Tell you, Mike. <laughs> Stop locking my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it the rest of the game now, just so you know. Great. Flip this yeah. one. And I'm watching mine, so don't even try. And then I'm going to swap to. Uh, oh. Okay. Yes. So technically, could you swap out a color? Oh, man. No, hang on. I'm trying to, like, figure out how this is going to work. Blind. Purple. Oh, that's fine. That actually helps. Hey, Mike, this power, this card gives me place one yellow. Does it have to go in an empty one? Empty, yes. Anytime you're taking a new one, it has to be placed into an empty hex. Okay. So what happens if, for oh, example, the I card the card tells me to remove a green to get a red and a purple, but what if the red and the purple can't fit in that in the hex that the green came in? Uh you would pick red or you'd pick you'd fill it up with whichever color you want. Okay. All right. It is in any order, but there's no way to do those in a better way. I'm going for it. I'm scoring her. I can't just let her go. Yeah, you don't have to. Okay. I mean, you have it here, right? With the green, red, purple. I understand, but. Because I have to give away a green, it's probably going to break my chain. Oh, absolutely it will. It's um, okay. Unless you pull a green rando, right? That's that's what I'm hoping for. Or trade two for one. I know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But anyways, yeah. it's, yeah. Um, not, it's ideal. not ideal. No. <laughs> um, what about, uh, is this your score? This is scored, yeah? Yes. And what are you doing with this one? That one's getting discarded. Perfect. You uh, you have to do the actions on the card to activate mm -hmm. them, right? Correct. Yeah. In order for them to flip, you must perform its action. 
So then do I go first because I was first player? Um, do you, do you, you slot it? Yeah, so do your do your stuff. Okay, so where's the bag? Idea. I'll I bring it over. I'll bring it over. Uh, I, I get another green then. What okay. I'm going to pick a random. Damn it. It's actually awesome. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Stupid yellow. Um, now I oh, can... actually. It has to go in an empty hex. I know, I know. I'm thinking, okay? Okay. okay. She's thinking. <laughs> in a minute. Don't rush me. I okay. Broke all um, kinds of stuff and I don't even remember how I did it. I'm going to swap two Whatever. for one. Okay. I'm yeah. going to swap this yellow and the blue for green. green. Yeah, you are. Wait, it could be any two colors in the one, or does it have to be? Are you kidding me? You're making a mess. No wonder I couldn't pick one out of the bag. I don't think there are any. <laughs> what are you looking for, green? Oh, uh, there it is. Yay. There it is. Oh, so when you're doing two in the one, it could be any two colors. Any two colors for oh, any one color. I thought it had to be a pair. Okay. Okay. And then. And does two colors have to be in the same hex? Same hex. So I did this. I did this. I'm going to give a green That's for really a, green. Damn a purple and a red. So if I give this one here. No, don't. Please don't. What? Let that sit for now. Because you have one, two, three, four, five times three right now. That's a 15 point thread. But th won't this go away? Oh, no, it stays. Yep. Oh, I forgot triggered. about that. Okay, okay, I forgot about that. Okay, wait. And then the swap, I'm going to swap this um, blue for the purple. Did I move? A... Okay. Instead of moving this here, I should have moved this here. All right, so. Right, I forgot that I could leave it there. Yeah, but now you might want to trigger that because you you'd be giving up this this fifteen point thread for an eight point thread, but then you'd be scoring this twice, which is twelve points. Huh? Unless unless she's going to keep it there and score it next round, right? Right. No, I would. Okay, but wait, I would like to. Why is it that you told me not to use it? I didn't know you were going to get this purple, red, green a second time. Oh. But right oh, yeah. now you have one, two, three, four, five green uh, hexes. Right. And one, two, three core memories. Mm -hmm. So that's a 15 point thread. Right. But that gives me 12 if I score it. Right now it would give you 12 plus the eight points you'd get for the thread. Right. So yep. I prefer to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's a better. That, that, would that, be better. that was my plan. You're interfering with my plan. <laughs> But like Peter had said, you could you could hold on to it and score it later. No. If you don't mess these up, but that's a good. So a then good to do that. I get a red and a purple in that hex here. Correct. Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to do. You know, someday it will just slot itself. So Mike, if you're done just... telling the winner so far how to win more, no, he's not. Order? He no, was actually was, was hindering. He was messing me up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sneaky. I'm on to you. Mm -hmm. All right. So flip that over. You you did that action. Oops. Cut this. I will. I will. And then I did. Uh, I pulled rando. I moved some stuff. I swapped the red for the purple. And then I took this solid red and put it here. So all my actions are done as well. Okay. And you scored that one? I didn't score anything. Okay. How come it's not the one with the lightsaber? Did I get hosed here? I was sure that was a little girl with a lightsaber. Oh, yeah. Didn't she have the one with the lightsaber? That's the back of the... Oh. Uh, yeah. So there is two different pieces of art for that one. I don't know if the lightsaber one is in here, actually. Yes, it is, because it was there last time when we played. Oh, so it one of them there. has a troll and one of them is... The oh, all right. Yeah, maybe it's in here then. 
Complete oh, bull. Maybe it's so, <laughs> I did all these actions. You are I'm not a Jedi. That's yellow. I am a Jedi. <laughs> no, definitely Sith. Definitely Sith. <laughs> Um, all right, so who are we? Uh, we're up to scoring. Yeah. yeah. Let's do, I do it. Oh, uh, let's score uh, Katia first. Yeah, we'll start with first player. player. All right, so we want to score our moment tiles. So I have 12 points. You do. And then that tile goes into your uh, score pile. Yep. You want the beach ball. 10, 11, 12. Oh. Um, I do not have a moment tile to score. That's going to sit there probably for the rest of the game. Did both of those. Chris, what do you got? Um, whoop, let me go to it. Uh, it. Just those. Yeah, I've got uh, one, two, eight, and then six, so 14. And then those two will go into your score pile. I'll add 14 to your hacky sack. And, and oh, they should, that you guys should have totally had a hacky sack in there. I think that's what this is. I'm not sure. You think so? I don't know. It could be volleyball. Yeah, I don't know what that Where's is. Other... Where's the other thing? Because it... there's two that seem very similar. Hmm. Like the blue white striped one that's not being used right now. That one could. That one looks more like a volleyball. And Peter gets what? Four. Four, four points yeah, because I've got four it points. once. Yeah. Once. All right. Four points for okay. the basketball. Doesn't help me at all this tile, but it did actually help me more than I thought because it gave me a green draw, which I was able to make some fun path with. So all right, moment tiles. Now we go to threads. Uh, yeah. Katya, you have what do you have for threads? So I have the red one here, which makes eight points. Four times and, two, correct? Yeah, and then I have one, two, three, four times two, so another eight points, so 16. 16 total? Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, and then you put the outside ones. Very good. I oh, have... Wait, does she score oh. that four points at the end of this as well? I will. Yeah, that'll be the core memories. Uh, okay. Bullet, bullet four. Um, I got my blue one here, which is three times two. So that goes there. That goes there. And that gets this six. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, I'm going to have to scroll. Six. Um, I have my purple. Um, one, two, three, four times two, which is eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Why don't I just go to eight, you jackass? And then, so in this situation, Ooh, really this nice. purple goes here. But then I can choose which one of these I want to slot into here. Yeah, wonder which one. Well, that's either one, lot. right? I mean. Yeah, either, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I guess that's true. It's like either purple is going yeah. there. Okay. So that goes there. And then my red, uh, I got one, two, three, four times two, which yeah. is another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm seven. getting your 18, by the way. Oh, I will. Oh, it's and a nice job getting oh, that. Oh, thank you, thank you. I think you don't forget to get your 18. Yeah. Um, and there you go there. Chris, what you got? Not much. Perfect. <laughs> I got, uh, looks like the green, so three times two is six. Right. And I think that's it. Works for me. Yeah. Um, what are you again? I'm the Hacky uh, sack? black and white ball. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. <laughs> All right. Volleyball, I believe. And Peter, what do you got? So for yellow, I did four times two, so eight for yellow. Right. And then green, I managed oh, to nice. three times eight. So 24 for green. Yeah, that's a good one. Wow. So 24. Is that, done? Is that 32? Yeah. 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 Oh, you might have just taken the lead with that. That's a good one. 
That's that really was, good. That was lucky green. I'm not. I, I really don't need green socketed in, but whatever. <laughs> Works. Get your points. Yeah. All right, and then uh, our core memories. Um, how many of them are are full up on your board? I think. I have four Lucky points. Four, right? And you are the beach ball. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I get I've one got, point. You got one, Chris. I got one point. All right, and you're the black and white ball. Peter, how many? I you got, got one. One point. That's it. Yeah, I'm working on some stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he just got 32. That's pretty impressive. He's in the Best lead. Ball goes to 50. And then I've got one up here, one down here, and 18. So 20 more. And 20. So not in the lead. Not in the lead. Nope. nope. All right. Now can I demand that nobody get help from other people except for me? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I cannot promise that. In all fairness, Michael was trying to sabotage me. So, well, yeah, unintentional, unintentional sabotage. <laughs> sure. So you claim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So after two rounds, uh, I've got fifty-six. Uh, Peter's got fifty. Katya has forty-eight, and Chris is somewhere on the bottom. So, um, somewhere down there. Well, thirty-two. There it is. He's he's coming in for a big round three. Though. That's what's gonna happen. There's the lightsaber. Yeah, I was sure that's what I was supposed to get there. I think I got hosed. Nope, still the ogre. Oh, weird. Well, yeah. that makes no sense because I remember seeing it when we play. I was pretty sure. I might have shared. It's the also image. possible that you know you play a, a mod and has to update because well, at least on tabletop simulator you can make a change and not have it yeah. save. Have to make it again, you know. Yeah, it might have just been the image that I showed, not the tile. Maybe. Damn. Because I don't know. I think we played it. Did we play it prior to the Kickstarter? Yep. So I don't know if that was released yet. So I might not. It might not have been in the game. Mm. I might have just shared the image. All right. How do I'm we? I'm starting to understand these tile, tiles better. I'm like, I know what tile I need. Which one? <laughs> now, how to get it. Oh, man. How to get it. Mm. makes me very curious about this game at uh, the two-player account because you can kind of engineer what you want a little bit better maybe unless there's a unless there's a me mechanism that's put in to change it up on you or something you have a I little control in a two-player game there's only four tiles and there's only four tokens on each tile okay. so, yeah i'm finding it pretty similar like in terms no, of you? Okay. yeah yeah well, I was just thinking that, you know, the ability to say I want one, two, or three when three other people are going to go, you, you can't really engineer um, the speed mm -hmm. of what a tile that will go, right? So, but in two-player, you could you could know that what their moves are, so you know what they are yeah. going to do, one, two, or three. And that does seem to be a tiny bit more control. So, Mike? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. It's kind of like playing five tribes at a two-player count versus three yeah. or four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the time it gets back to you, it's like, wow, things have changed. <laughs> right. I miss that. I haven't played that game in a long time. Oh, it's my favorite. I yeah. love that game. I remember when it came out, what I thought was oh, very here, funny right? about Tabletopia? it. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I Sorry. thought it was so funny that it's, it was called Five Tribes and it only plays two to four players. <laughs> and so I immediately wanted to make a game called Six Tribes that played up to five players because I just thought that would have been awesome. You only took one, Mike? Um, I'm debating if I want to take more. Or if a rewire is just what I need to do. I'm going to do that and then rewire into here. I'm good. Hmm. All right. Um, One scored tile. Oh, my God. So 
Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> like, I know, I know how I understand this game, and I'm, I'm super excited for what. Who, whose turn is it? Is it me? It's mine. Chris. It's Chris's. Okay. Yeah, I understand this game now well enough to know I've lost horribly. Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. So, Peter, you have your game on Tabletopia, or um, which one? The new one. Flame the new Crap? one. Yeah. It's on um, Tabletop Simulator right now. Okay. But we are, as a company, moving all of our titles to uh, Tabletopia. Um, we moved Mission Catastrophe just now, uh, recently. So we're about to um, share it with backers on Tabletopia. And then we're going we're gonna to take Flamecraft. Why, are you, make, why <laughs> are you making the switch? Um, well, the first two games that the company is releasing are, they're lighter. And um, we think that there's, a, there's an easier chance for someone to play Tabletopia without buying, a, you, you don't have to buy the license. And, yeah. and a, lot of the, a lot of the fans of Sandara's art, you know, they might actually be coming into this wanting to test it. But, but if I say, hey, can you also get Tabletop Simulator? That could be a barrier. So yeah. Her stuff is amazing. Yeah, I, yeah. I I went and followed her on Facebook. So now every time she releases the new images, they yeah. show up on my feed. And yeah, it's it's doing mermaids right little. now too for yeah. the month of May, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Your turn, Peter. All right. I'm excited that the stuff I want is still there. So I take a purple, blue, and a red, and I want them all in this space. And no card for me, but at least I knew what I want. I'm going to go against my instinct. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I'm only going to grab one. <laughs> no, that's good. I think reorg is, or the uh, rewire is a uh, very key action. Mm -hmm. If everyone does that, let's all do that now. Well, so Mike, and, so Mike and gonna... I just did it. So, I'm gonna put it here. Oh, so I screwed up then. And then I'm going to <laughs> rewire it to here. Oops. There. All right, Mike. Look at that. I left you cards. I That's love it. Awesome. Normally I snag those from you. <laughs> yeah, but now I gotta get a blue into Oh, sweet. Yep, I'm doing that. So I'm taking a blue. It's going to get me this. I'm going to put the blue here and then rewire it into here. And I'm good. Oh, you can rewire the same one you get, huh? Yep. That's nice. Yeah, let's all just do rewires for a while. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thinking about it. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, in fact, I'm taking this. Go ahead, Peter. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, I suppose I should now do a rewire instead of <laughs> <laughs> taking it. Well, I can't empty one anyway. So um, I would like to take a purple and rewire. I just don't know where I'm... Um, I have to put it into an empty. You do? I am trying to get some things done here. I guess I'm going to go here and see what, what happens. Okay. All right. Cocky? I don't know what I want. <laughs> I've been staring at it for like two minutes and I don't know what to do here. Oh, man. Oh, man. You just pass, right? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> hey, you'll know. Um, hmm. All right. What does this card say here? 
Red, yellow. Well, that's boring. I don't want that. <laughs> um, well, I think I'm just going to take two blues, maybe. Mm. Not bad. Looks like you're getting a board then, Mike. I mean, no, I'll put it here. What Mike mean, really? I mean, you, you know? don't have to, I guess. If I can get a green in there, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to, so. No. What? You want green? Well, I mean, the, the tile scores <laughs> me purple, red, green, right? I have purple, red, so if I can get this green over here, that would score. Oh, wait, I put... But I got to get rid of a green to get a green. I didn't do my reorg. Sorry, I'm not decent. I don't like it. I'm not getting any points for threads. Ugh, this is a mess. I haven't really looked at the, uh, the memories I got before. Ooh, that's cool. And it was... Blue. Pretty cool. Red. Blue. Purple. Blue. Green. Yeah, I need to get that blue out of there now. So that's going to work. Done over there? <laughs> None of this is working. Excellent. No. Precisely as I have not foreseen. <laughs> I could do that. Ugh, all right, fine. I'm going to take one, two, three. There goes that tile. And this. I don't think I'm going to get any of these tiles this, game, this time because I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Blue, blue. Where's the blue? Here. <clears throat> yes. Green. Everything's over here. This stinks. Put it down here. All right, I'm good. All right. Yeah, you're going to get a tile. Am I? I'm going to take a red, a blue, and a yellow. See? Yeah, I'm not taking that file. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. When you when you when you hand it to me, I suppose it's not really your your, your problem. <laughs> yep. Your turn, Peter. Yep. Um. I mean, I suppose I could use a red. Oh, man. I take care of red. I feel like I do so much better at this in real life. There's just something about, because I'm such a visual person, there's something about being able to easily look at the cards in my board. Mm -hmm. Where I'm going to take like, a purple. And I'm going to rewire this green in there. That works. Tried to hand you a board. I know, but <laughs> I know. I need to do what I got to do. What you doing, Katya? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Which board do you want? I almost I, the the scoring opportunities that are on the tiles. While I find them super interesting. I, it's such an interesting. There's like layers to look at, and right now in the third final round, I'm like, ooh, I can't. I can't grok those as fast as I can grok the threads, right? So the threads mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to, okay, let me make sure I got the thread. Mm -hmm. And so I, I thought, uh, I could probably score big with one of these up there, but I don't know. I'm going to take three. No. I'll take this red. 
Hold on. I don't know where they go yet. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. No. No, no. No, no. And do I want the green or purple? Hmm. My purples are not really not lined up. I think I'm going to go with the green. Six or mid. And. Gonna come here. With this stuff. Yeah, I, I know that there's. I know. All right, Mike. It's so noticeable when Peter goes on mute. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you, you must have some kind of like, yeah, there must be like a little bit of background noise. Yeah. And but whenever you mute, it goes complete silence. Well, I'm trying yeah. to spare everybody from my 11 year old who's gonna he's playing games. So that's all right. Let's get. I don't, know, I don't know who's actually watching us play this. So. <laughs> yeah, if anyone is watching, they can comment. That would be awesome. So we know they're watching. Well, later you guys are gonna uh, edit it or put it on. Here. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be on our channel, so people will watch it later. And if they don't, hey, we just played a game and had fun. So. Well, that was the whole point. And oh, testing my connection for Monday. Correct. It looks good now. Well, so this makes no sense, but um, I'm using my old laptop, which actually died when I was running my Kickstarter last year. That's That's a level of stress you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that's the computer I'm using right now, which seems to be fine. So I'm thinking that maybe the issue with the newer one is because I have the um, like the Adobe Cloud. I think is what's chewing all the resources because mm. I have like all the like Illustrator and Photoshop on there, and I think having the cloud it just slows everything down i don't know because it makes no sense why this old laptop would be faster connecting than the other one but hmm. it is what it is dropbox takes up a lot of memory too if you have that on there i do i do have that on there too and chrome is probably the biggest memory sucker yeah although so, i guess you're playing it on that one too on monday i'll uh, be on this uh, old laptop Mike, just Mike, Mike. you're welcome peter yeah are you done, Mike? Uh, I need to place them someplace, which I think is just going to be in the garbage. But other than <laughs> that, I'm, I'm fine. Well, I'm getting I'm getting none of these uh, cards this round. Great way to finish off being last. You're welcome. You and Katya just took all the cards. That's fine. I tried to leave them for you, Chris. I tried to. You can't. You go after me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't take any so that there would be more for right, you. Right. I see. So, so there were more for them. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I made choices too. I must. I'm good. Them. You're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. How can I waste everybody's time? Like Mike. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> that was harsh. Uh, it's okay. I kept them red. entertained with my stories about my laptop. <laughs> yes, you did. I'm going to limit everyone's <laughs> choices by taking the reds there. That's, Damn. That's great. That's so great. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, yeah. The that I want, I can't oh get uh, the other one that's there. I, I want to get. <laughs> Uh, okay, I like the fact there's purples. I'm not sorry about that. I just have Man, to I can't even that. do anything with these reds. I'm not sorry. Can I take purple. that back? Yeah. <laughs> You'd like me to take that back, wouldn't you? I mean, I'm out of post. I haven't gone. Yeah, I'm going to take these purple right here. Actually, hold on. I might just take one. Um, what? what was that? You should probably take one. Uh, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? 
<laughs> I don't see why I need two, so I'm going to take one. That way I can rewire something. Um, yep, go ahead, Peter. Okay. Mm, how, to, how to pull this off? Get that card, but I failed to do that card. But it still gives me, it gives me a blue, which I want since Mike took that blue. <laughs> so I might take the purple in order to get the blue. The rewire lets me take one from anywhere and put anywhere, right? I know it's the rewire lets you pick a hex, and then move Every as many from that hex out or from adjacent into that hex. It doesn't have to be one. It could be as many as you want from that hex or into that hex. But it has to be adjacent. has to be adjacent. But it doesn't have to be the hex that you picked or placed the, the one token into. It could be any hex on your board. Right. So you pick a hex and then either Please. move out from it or move into it from there adjacent. Be, there has to be a blue there. OK. So, yeah, I don't, I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And then, well, I'll just start with where I know there has to I, I'm, I'm taking a purple. I am taking two. I think I'm going to take two and figure out how to use this card. Let's do that. And Is there that, a third purple here? Huh? Well, if it's floating for you, I, I only see two. I see three. What the? This is a magic uh, trick. Um, Chris, can you go to Peter's screen? No, I'm on my screen. Can Could you go to Peter's screen? Uh, there's now three. <laughs> I was We're trying two. to do my switch. <laughs> oh. There were there were two, so I don't think there's actually three here. Okay, now there's only uh, two because there was on the tile was three purple, one one blue, and one red, and then we've been down to the three purple. So I think it was an extra purple somehow. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna blame Chris here, I believe. This is the best I can do. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, uh, you left mic one. Yeah, because I really need it. I have three waiting here with one already on my board. So is it my turn? I it feel is. like I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we know you can't get that tile. No, I don't want that tile, anyways. No, but she can let me get it if she takes just one and Mike takes just one. This is true. And yeah, no. she takes one red. I don't think that'd help me anyway. I don't I take one red. So that's whatever. But I think you should be forced to score those into your slot. Damn. Wait. <laughs> if you're gonna trying score. to figure out here. Hold on. Did I do Oh, yeah, I missed. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. This one little memory thing here is not in the right spot. It should be here. The purple and blue, they look the same. <laughs> I did the same thing with my purple. Fuck. So re rewire. Just take the one red and move your blue over. No, to the I had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Mm. Fine. What a stupid, stupid thing. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. <laughs> this is your brain on wine. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I might still beat you. So we'll You probably see. will, because I'm I'm getting nothing this round, so I mean you're gonna beat me. 
All right. In so all what fairness, I did the... not know this was this whole thing was going to be live stream. So <laughs> I didn't either. I mean, it's Friday night. That yeah, it, it, it was like a last minute. Like, oh yeah, we should do that. It's Mike's idea. It's a, fun, it's a funny idea, and I'm I'm glad you did it. Yeah, because why not? It's fun. I, I wanted to. I always wanted to stream more like playtest type things, but you're always afraid as a publisher of it breaking or not being the final, and then someone judging it like too much, right? Yeah. No, no one would judge it. Uh, but then I realized, yeah, sometimes uh, it, it was sort of late in the time at breaking games where I realized if I just turn on the cameras and we're showing a rough game, some people would just love to see what that rough game is or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm taking a red. And really, I'm getting a thing, huh? huh. You know what I kind of wish for a, a little bit in this game is a little token that represents my four actions, and I could drag it over the hex that I want to remember that I want to do that action to later. You you have you have a token right here. Okay. But I, I mean, there's four. I have to put this in an empty one, right? Yes. I'm going to ask that question several more times, even though this is the end of the game. Yep. No, every, every time you take a token, those tokens need to go in an empty hex. Oh, wait. This turns into... It's still useful. Oh, my God. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like light bulb. <laughs> okay. Are we in the next phase now? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're good. So now <laughs> right. slot your um, yeah. files if you want. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do we have a red that I need to do? I think I'm slotting all of them. Or each one of them. This makes me. This makes me want to draw the uh, rando out of the bag and then decide if I'm slotting the tile. But oh, yeah. decide first. I wish it was in that order. We'll do. We'll decide first. That'd be too easy. Chris is really thinking. Look at Chris. <laughs> I am. And I'm just showing you my brain. That's how hard I'm thinking. You can see the smoke coming out of your left ear. I mean, this part is hard. I'm going to say this is like, uh, yeah. you know, you're trying to pull off as much as you can pull off. Yep. Well, it's just all math. But the game point. gives you the illusion. I mean, no, I will, I will, that you can will, pull off a lot more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do. I enjoy those games where you're like, but there's a way. I could just yep. like, I think about it a lot and figure out the way. <laughs> Yeah, but every single way breaks the other thing. Mm -hmm. Well, not for me, because I'm pretty sure I figured out that way just now, and it's pretty satisfying. Well, good for... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Good for you. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to play with this game with like the actual pieces. It's very exciting. Hopefully soon. Yep. And they're going to start showing up in my artwork. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're unique pieces too, so they should really pop. Yeah. I finally decided where if I was going to put the tile somewhere. Nice. Right. <laughs> Decision I mean, one. I think that's what Chris is still doing. Over. Yeah. I'm is he cheating? Figuring, there? No, I'm figuring like, out what I need to do. So this is a lot of stuff moving. Ability. 
I just switched out these two with this ability. I'm trying to figure out where this goes. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to kill you. <laughs> my biggest thing that I was trying to figure out is whether I could get two 18s on this turn. Mm. That would be nice. Uh, was, that would have so, been impressive. That well, uh, can was, so, purple. Cuz the purple and then I was going to see if I could get the purple and the blue in the bottom. I think the fact that you took that one blue, that one blue might have been it, but I have a way to make a blue, which was driving me nuts. I was like, oh, wait, I can make a blue, but it's very, very difficult. And you, you know, also have this where you can swap two for a blue, right? You're not supposed right. to help him. Just, no, just no. reminding so, you. So I'll talk through it. So one of the things I was trying to do was, I mean, there's too many things to do, right? I have to get a blue. I have to move. Basically, I have to get a blue in too many spots. Yep. I'm a giant and because of that, because of that, I've sort of now given up on blue, which actually then opens these actions back up where I can convert things. Now that I don't care about blue anymore. Right? Mm -hmm. The ones that you swap, do they have to be next to each other? Uh, for this action, no. Okay. Okay. Just like all that's happening right now, um, but in a good way. So if I were to, slide, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I gotta thank Ian for that. If Ian at any point is watching this, or if his ears are ringing, that is really it is extremely satisfying. This goes to be two. I saw that. <laughs> it is fun. All right, are we good with the uh, slotting? Oh, yeah. Chris, no, I'm, still, I'm still finishing. One second. Okay. I mean, I've forgotten my plan by now, but I had a plan. <laughs> oh, shit. What happened? I don't even know what my plan is. And the swap this one. Okay, this one. Oh, hold on. I meant these two. Uh, get That's what I meant. That going. That. So I've done the swap, and I've done the move, and I've done the one that I. And I've done the convert. And then, unfortunately, the yellow one's not going to work. I can't all work. Did you do all your actions, Peter? Do you have four cards slotted? No, I, do. I have one card, but... Oh. Who's it's got not... four cards? This is me. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I wish those were negative points. Yeah, uh, you would wish they were negative. I didn't, I didn't I know would. you were sitting across, and I'm looking at the row of cards, and I'm like, oh my god. No, <laughs> it's not good. I think I have to take one of them out of here, or else it's just not. You don't get the basic actions then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking the blue to a yellow red, but that's not going to. I need to be able to move something in the way. I haven't done anything. Are we supposed to do this simultaneously? Yeah, uh, well, I was done any any what part? Like the whole taking the actions and stuff. Like I'm, yeah. I haven't. I just finished my action. Yeah, I took all mine. Oh, okay, oh. all right. Okay then. And so uh, nobody's wa nobody's watching what I'm doing. I no, I'm on. I'm watching your uh, board now because I am now. I got it up. Um, I will. Give a blue here to take a yellow and a red. So that's the cards action. Of course, they never go in. Mm. Mm. Oh, crap. All right. If I don't score this, it doesn't flip, does it? So that's mm -hmm. done. Okay. Then I'm going oh, to trade. Okay. I'm going to trade. Here. Hold on. I had a plan. <laughs> I <did. laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, it was here. Wait. If this doesn't score, I don't get to put it in my scored pile, right? Say again. That yeah. Oh jeez. It'll it it it's useless. I need a blue here to make that count. I don't remember what I did for my actions. That's the problem. Okay, so yeah. Purple. I so that. I'm going to do the trade, and I'm going to trade this blue for that red there. Okay. And then... I can get a movement of one. So I think I'm going to move this one here. What, what do you think of this? Okay. It's part of the whole system. If it'll slot in already. There we go. That's yeah, it. Right. That. right. All right. Uh, everyone's actions are done. Mm hmm. All right. I might have cheated. Great. All right. Well, I could have sworn I had the yellow here, and I thought I just moved it here, but it has to be adjacent, doesn't it? Correct. For that, yeah, for the swap, no. No, he's asking for the no, move. No, I didn't swap. I just moved it. Yep. But the move has to be adjacent, right? Correct. I kind of wish that was illustrated here, but okay. Um. Yeah, because I can't do that, so. Uh. Oh, but I could just move this here? Yes. Yeah, and then you that get the yellow chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't solve my problem. I can't do that, but at least I didn't cheat. So. Well, I mean, you could, right? If you just cho choose to do this to here, then you would trigger that? Yeah, that's six points. Whereas You're better one... off with the threads. Yeah, and One, yeah. two, three, four, five... It's five times three versus if I did that, it'd only be. Wait, three does it times count two. the one there that's slotted though? Oh, you're right, right. It's five times one. So it's five points. Oh. If I put that there versus six points if I do that. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, yeah, I'll do that then. I'm helping you, Chris. Oh, sorry. No, because if I complete this, I also get four points over here. Yeah, but that's with the red. Right? Which I have. Yeah, which he's also got. And the 18 up here. So, yeah. Okay. Except since my thing is a yellow, I'll get a five of this scores, right? You would, yes. Yeah, so that's a one point difference. So, I'll keep it as it is. Keep this here or move this back? No, no, this is fine because I want to score this and put it in my thing. Okay. Not that it'll make that much difference. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. So All right, my, uh, my points, uh, I did my actions. Um, moment tiles, I got this red, yellow, and this red, yellow uh, each once. So that's eight points. Uh, where the hell is my bocce ball? Ten minus two. And then this and this go away. And then I have my red, yellow, blue here and here. So I get 12 points for that. 10, 11, 12. And this goes here. Um, those are my moment tiles. Uh, Chris? Uh, my moment tile scores one, so that's six points. Six for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then score the tile. Good. Peter? And it's... I managed to flip my moment tile, but not score it. So, whoops. Okay. I was working on their stuff. I'm Mine sure scores six. Six, six for the beach ball. Beach ball is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then we go over to threads. Uh, I have nothing. <gasps> That's yeah. so terrible. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> There's Zero good about it. I yep. love how you pointed it. You did so horrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think she did that to me last time too. 
Uh, I did not. Oh, totally. I did <laughs> not. That was my first time playing. I didn't know it was good or not. Oh, uh, you totally rubbed Just, it in. No, you really screwed the pooch last time. Sorry. I did, and I, I think I did again. So the wow. trend continues. I just realized I screwed this up and didn't connect the purple. Perfect. See, I did, wait. No, it is connected. It is connected. Okay, this is all making me feel better about my. Yeah, uh, look, it's no. not connected. There's my, no purple in the Oh, shit. Over there. That's not. I know. It looks like oh, it is. No, it, do, it does. Yep. All right. So that's not one. But uh, the red here. Yep. There's yep. four to two. So that's eight. So eight points for you. Um, yellow's connected here. So three to zero. Is that what happens here? Yeah, because they're already connected. So, um, and I think that's it. Yeah, your purple here would have been. Would have been. All right. Um, now we do our core memories. Uh, can I, I score? Can I score those? I got a thread. That thread? That'd be great. Oh, um, yeah, we did. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we got to do fine. Peter's thread. All right, so I managed to get the purples to connect three with eight again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, wow, so, nice. Doing 24 for that one. Basketball. Is basketball. 10, 20, one, two, three, four. All right, 24 for that. Is that it? Yeah, it was one blue off from doing a blue. So that's it. Okay. And Katia, your threads? So I have yellow for one, two, three, four, five. So 10 for yellow. Okay. And I connected the blue for one, two, three, four, for 10 as well. Five mm -hmm. times three. Oh, yeah. Yep. 10. Okay. Beach ball here. All right. And then do your blue on the outside. Yeah, I got to move stuff on the outside. Hold on. So that goes here. That goes here. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just moving the board. <laughs> there we go. All right. And now we go to our core memories, which are our uh, fully slotted um, on the outside edge. I've got 18, yep. 19, 20 again. I connected no new ones. The so bocce ball goes to 96. Set. I've got 19. Chris has 19. 10, 20, minus 1. Peter. Let's see, I'm scoring um, 18 and then two, single, two singles. So 20. So you also get 20. Okay. Same I as mine. I have 26. Did it work? 26? Yeah. Ugh. I have four, yep. four, and 18. One, two, sure. three, four, five, six. All right. Well, that's pretty um, shameful score right there. Yeah, zero. Oh, you mean yours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're not done. Now we have to do our aspirations. Do we want to take a guess? I think we all well, know Mike, that. Mike, you're green. Yeah, Mike is green. No. <laughs> well, let's find out. Flip it. I'm going to say Chris is purple. No, Chris is yellow. No, um, no Chris is... No, hang on. Peter was Pick yellow. Pick whatever scores me. You know, the how, you know how poorly you've done when people are going, I don't know what color I you know. are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Chris is yellow. Peter's purple. Katia is blue. That's my final score. My final answer. I think yeah. yeah, I think Chris is purple and Peter is yellow and you're green. Might call you green. Wow. You think Peter's yellow? Yeah. I don't know why. Like wow, <laughs> Peter really botched this. I don't know. <laughs> Peter was so focused on the threads. Oh. I don't know. I did no, I did botch it actually. I don't have a good perfect. I was All right, thinking Peter was red. I'm, I'm definitely green. I was well, thinking I'm Peter blue. was red, though. You're blue, yeah. I am yellow. Yellow. I am 
I'm purple, but my card was lost a while a while ago. So I it's in my hand, but it won't show. I can't get it out of Well we can show as long as this is red. Yeah. All right, so then uh, based on your color, on your aspiration, I wanted to be an astronaut. So I will count up one point for each of the ones on the interior. So one, two, three, four, five. Two points for everyone on the exterior. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then five points for every one of these tiles that had green. I only had one. So I get another 14 points. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That goes there. I get 25 points. Well done. Sorry, did you say it's a one point for the ones inside your brain? Correct. And it's two on the outside? Correct. Okay, so one, two, three, five, seven, nine, Peter, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, is eight, 10, 11, 16, and then, 13, 14, so I'm at, I'm at 21. 11, 11, and 5. Peter, you got 16? Correct. Did you move it? I didn't move it yet. Okay. So that would just even me up to 100 plus 10, right? 110? Yeah. I'm at 21 for the um, yes. aspirations. How many? 21? Nice. And 21. Uh, um, and that's our final score. Yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> <laughs> that is two for two. Peter and I tied? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> but that means that Peter did beat Chris. All <laughs> predictions were correct. Well, we that's true. That did beat me and Peter beat Chris. Perfect. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need a rematch, uh, Michael. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, what, what was I? 10, 11, I, 12 more points? Yes. I knew when I wasn't getting the... I didn't take the purples round one, and I didn't. I got one purple card, and then it was hard to get cards, and I thought, oh, Mike's going to take it and run away with it. I'm actually kind of surprised you took all... You got with all those cards, but they weren't green. Yeah, I definitely yellow, didn't. They didn't help me at all. Yeah. I definitely did not lose because of this, but I did feel at a disadvantage as last place in a four-player game. Because you didn't get to go first? Well, yeah, because it, it's not just going first, but I noticed at the end of all three rounds, I took less pieces than anybody else. And that's not always, you know, the the issue because sometimes I chose to take one or something like that, you know. Um I don't know. It just felt like the, it was, and maybe it was just from the. And like I said, I, I didn't lose because of that. I made really bad decisions <laughs> based off of stuff I had. Um, so I'd like to try it like a few more times, or like I'd like to take Katya and put her at the end and see if she still destroys all of us. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It, it's not that if there is a disadvantage, that's not what lost me the game. <laughs> So rematch it's next always, Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's in. always it's always hard when there's a game where um, there's an an amount of rounds like that where a player ends up not getting yeah. a first round. Yeah. Like a, I wonder how you could sort of give an advantage to that fourth player. Well, it's hard because like if everybody but me just takes one, then of course I'd get more pieces, right? Mm -hmm. It all just depends on who takes what, mm -hmm. and it's uneven turns every round. Uh, right, it is. So I mean, the thing is, is that same. the fourth player doesn't have access to the first two ends, but they have access to a different card, and because those are both random, I don't think this is easy you don't know. Here. I think this is right, and and so like if everybody took just two. Mm -hmm. Every single time, then the fourth player loses out. Oh, okay. Because if it's all even, there's what there's five tiles. Is it five tiles? Six, and then six five, tiles. So there's 25 tokens to go out, right? There's six tiles, five on each. Yeah. So divide that by four. 
You're doing way too much math for Friday at <laughs> 11, 12 at night. Yeah, I know. Stop, uh, Jack. This is, there's too much math involved in this conversation. Yeah. I was so close to being able to put this blue in there and getting another 18. Yeah, if you did that, you won. I was, yeah. I was, uh, yeah, it was a blue, it was a blue away. And what I thought about doing is, I mean, gambling on a rando, <laughs> you know, that's where I was at with my decision was like, I, I can maybe do it. Well, Chris, think- too, with the one with the purple flub, right? How many points would that have gotten you if you had the purple? Well, not enough to win at this point, but yeah, it would have been pretty nice. Would you have crossed a hundred at least? You're only uh, ten away. Yeah, maybe. Right, mm-hmm. you would have gotten this core memory at one. That would have been another because you were. Oh no, you're yellow, so that would have been shit. So one yeah. point here plus your thread. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. Yeah, that would have been eleven points. Yeah, so you would have been at one hundred one. <laughs> I would have lost less. <laughs> right, but I mean, you're another what yeah. one move right away from something else triggering you being yeah, both I, you and I. I think part of the uh, the part part for me is that the fact that it's digital. Um, yeah, I think kind of games. It's very visual for me, and yeah. being able to look at that and look at my board and really think it out, having to go like from here and then going, okay, I got to memorize what that looks like. Go yeah. here, okay. Those three, and then back to here, and it, you know, uh, well, not yours, but mine. But not being able to like picture them together yeah. is it, just throwing me off because I'm all visual. Um, right. So I think I would love this game if I had it in front of me, which is why I backed it. So I I'm very happy to keep backing it. Yeah, I think this is a this has got great depth because you know you play again and you're thinking to yourself, okay. I now kind of understand what I can pull off. There's so much. There's, I mean, you get to stare at the awesome art as one layer going like, ooh, this is this imagination, and have fun with that. But also um, you get to really crunch on different levels. With It's really uh, neat. Yeah. I also didn't think – I didn't – really catch on to how I should be playing till like at the end of the second round, which is way too long. Right. But uh, that's why I was behind the whole time. <laughs> Cause I was just like, I guess I'll put colors here and see what happens. So yeah, a lot more planning will be in the next game. Yeah. It definitely rewards multiple plays. Right. Cause then you start getting into a strategy. You got to hope that yeah. you get the right card. You got to hope you get the right colors, but you do realize like, taking two of the same color could really benefit you if the right tiles are there, if you can slot the right tiles, because you can turn one of them into a six point score, if not more. Um, yeah. It's it. Yeah. Your brain has to get used to the fact that to score those, you need two of the same mm-hmm. so, so that you leave one that that's a whole, yep. you know, layer that you don't immediately, immediately get. Right. Um, and thinking of the pathways that are going to be left so that you can, you know, score the threads better. And also a, a good strategy is to purposefully leave a connection off. Like, um, yeah, say on Chris's board, right, where he, he missed that one purple. That's good for round one or round two, because if you can build out your other purples, then plop one in there with a rewire. Now you're scoring like a, a, a times three or a times four rather than, ah, I got eight points for doing, you know, four times two. Right. Yeah. That so was really cool. Leaving four times four. Times four. Yeah, huh? I was leaning more towards trying to score these tiles than I was threads. And the tiles were okay because I was able to get maybe one or two times. But unless right. you're doing nothing but that, I think the threads is where the real points are at. Yeah, but that's right. what's so cool is because you could grab a tile and trigger it or not trigger it, you can then also kind of build up and score a tile in a crazy way as well. Right. Yeah. So I would almost love to play this game where I went mega thread and tried to challenge myself to do a four. Yeah. And then I would like to play another one where I do a tile and try and just set up six times, however many I could get and forget all threads just to, just to do it, you know, to test it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Mike, your last, um, your, your last one had four memories all up here, but none of them gave you green. Uh, I trashed one. 
Oh, okay. Because it didn't make sense to have all four. I needed, in order to score one of the tiles, I needed to move something in. So I left the right one open so I can swap two out. Gotcha. Um, but even the one that I got rid of, uh, where is it? Yeah, like all three of these that you grabbed. They were four, useless. None of them had green on you. Yeah. No, I, 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 scored I, I was like thinking that you were going to get 20 points from that. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Um, the one that I got rid of was it did have green in it, but I had no way of um, triggering it, so it wouldn't have it wouldn't have scored, and it would have gotten me the five points. Wouldn't have gotten me the five points. I think there's probably a type of person that can actually look at this and think three rounds in and actually just. I mean, granted, there's still randomness with what other people do, which I like the the marketplace. You can't quite say what's going to be there. Sure. Um, but wow, well, what people are going to take fun. before you too, right? Like you have no idea if you're going to be able to, if Get you're going to have the opportunity to clear a tile or have the right, like Chris could leave you like strategically leave you with no option to take a tile. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I saw on the Kickstarter, I think, uh, Rado says that it blows Azul out of the way water or something like that. Yeah. And I could see why, because in Azul, whenever you go to grab pieces, I can almost predict what everybody's going to grab. Mm -hmm. Okay, he wants four. She doesn't want those three red she, because she wouldn't be able to put them there. So she wants those two yellow, you know, basically like that. But when it gets to here, I can't predict because it's too much going on. Unless I want to sit there and like spend forever before Peter goes and mm -hmm. analyze his board. And, you know, I can't predict two or three people ahead. Uh, where, the, where they're where they going to go and what I'm going to get. With Azul, I could sit there and go, all right, I'm going to take this. That means he's going to take that. There, she's going to take that. He's going to take that. That means I get this. Like, I could just start planning it like that. And this one, I would take it and just be like, all right, I guess I'll wait till my turn because I have no idea what's going to happen <laughs> when it gets back around to me. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good and bad. I like I like the element of unpredictable. I don't know. Yeah, and and, I, me, and it, like that's why I love Five Tribes is that because you're having to adapt right away to what just happened on the board, and right. this kind of has a bit of that where it's like I have to almost wait until it's my turn to figure out what I can do and you know deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like that's that's I don't know. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I think the only bad for it is the AP, you know, because you can't really plan your turn until it gets to you. Yeah. You might be able to plan, okay, if he takes that, then right. I take this. If it, You know, but you can only really yeah. do that. You kind of strategize right out of the, out of the gate because if, if you're trying, let's say end of round one, you're going <laughs> you into round two, you set yourself up for it. What? I said you should. <laughs> you should. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. But. If you're setting yourself up for a yellow run, but only two yellow come out, you're kind of boned in like, all right, well, I'm not going to be able to, I physically can't get the two or you're not the first player to pick it. So one goes off the table immediately. You're like, all right, well, there's a lot of purple on the board. So maybe I can trigger something with the purple or strategize to get the tile that gives me the purple. And then you have your four main actions, which could be like, all right, well, if I take two purple, I can trade them in for the yellow that I need. So there's a lot, of, it's presented to you in a way where you can kind of at least wrap your head around. All right, maybe this, and then Chris hate drafts, Peter hate drafts, Katia hate drafts, and you're like, all right, well, none of that's going to happen for me now, so out the window. Yeah, there was a there was a time I was playing. Uh, I'm going to butcher the name. Tea Tuakan. Uh, Tea the, yeah. Tuakan. Yeah, the dice. What, what's interesting about that one too is it has the this idea that I, I know I can do it right if I just spend one cocoa and I and I move this die. It's like nope. And you back it up and you're like, okay, I'll move this die, and then it doesn't work. And I was doing that one time. And the other person who's playing with me was like, what are you trying to do? Let me just help. Let me just come in. <laughs> we spent like 15 minutes and then there was the move. There was, there was the move. It was it, in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's in there. And that's what's, it's kind of addictive, but I see Chris's point, which is that you, <laughs> you want to make sure everyone's fine with what you're about to do, which is we're going to, we're going to crunch a little bit. So hopefully yeah, yeah. everyone's cool with that. Well, I mean, like we've done, like, even when we were playing Five Tribes, there's times where you undo your move and it's like, wait, this was there. This was 
Yeah, yeah, it before, yeah. So it's it got to a point where it's like when you're moving the meeples, you're putting them in a certain corner so that you know that that's the new one you just dropped yeah, in case yeah. you got to take it off. I was doing it here. I would, I would decide to swap these two, then move this. The problem is, is that the minute I leave that image and go look at something else, I've now forgotten all the stuff I just did. Yeah. And I would go back and go, oh, what did I do? Yeah. yeah. That's why I was like, I think I cheated here, but I'm not I sure. I think in person, yeah. Chris would definitely <laughs> solve it. Yeah. Sure. yeah. For me, anyway. I, I'm, I'm an extreme yeah. visual person. So, um, cool. uh, I mean, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. I will not change my backing status. <laughs> cool. You're going to get two now, right? <laughs> yeah. Three. And play them all together. There you go. I think, particularly, too, what's good about this one, just thinking about game groups. Not that mine has met for a long time, but I think a lot of people it crosses a it crosses a bunch of different folks. I think, mm -hmm. which is neat. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's got a lot going for it. Yeah, it definitely yeah. feels like the next stage past Azul or uh, Sagrada, even. Mm -hmm. So now under the Rado code, they can also say your name. <laughs> Blows us all the water. Uh, you got to pay me Rado money, Rado <laughs> money to get that quote. Okay. <laughs> all right, sounds good. I don't think Thank we're there, Chris. I gotta, I gotta jump off, but um, this was yeah. fun. It was fun. Let's try to look right and end this broadcast here, since uh, I'm sure everyone would still be watching after three and a half hours of us messing around on Tabletopia. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you actually made it this far. <laughs> yeah thank you